Okay, but how how do I get him to like not move? Bon bon. Why are you being an asshole? Hey, hey, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> well, first death. <laughs> first death. Oh no. I have to do Fox's auditorium again. Oh no. Let's see if that works. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's launch this. Boop. Uh, delete now. Yeah. There's no doubting what you've achieved on a technical level. <laughs> These are clearly state of the art. There are just certain design choices that were made for these robots that we don't fully understand. We were hoping that you could shed some light on those. She can dance. She can sing. She's equipped with a built-in helium tank for inflating balloons right at her fingertips. She can take song requests. She can even dispense ice cream. With all due respect, those aren't the design choices we were curious about, Mr. Afton. <laughs> Mr. Afton! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, hi! And welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. We're finally doing this game. I am so excited. <laughs> I love the lore that comes out of this game. Hold on, this is super loud. Jesus Christ. I need to turn this down a little bit. Oh my gosh. Man, uh, is there a way that I can... Hold on, uh, Why is my... Why, why, mouse don't work. Mouse don't work in this game. What happened? Okay, now, now I do work. Ah, okay, so I don't... I see, I see. I don't have access to those options. Okay. So. Sister location. <laughs> it, I love this game because he... I'm gonna... Hold on, lower this down for a little bit because Jesus Christ. So, Sister Location gives us a ton, a ton of lore. And, um... Where does it feel like... Oh, well, never mind. Hold on. I'm trying to figure shit out here as we go. <laughs> so, let me just keep that muted for a second. So, Sister Location. <laughs> this game introduces so much lore to the franchise. It tells us so many things. It, of course, confuses us with a lot of other things. But the biggest reveal of the entire game, I think, happens at the beginning. Where William Afton is talking about the designs for Circus Baby, right? And we finally get confirmation that the man designing these robots... Purple man, purple guy, the main villain is actually William Afton, which, you know, the problem is that if you guys remember what we were watching yesterday, um, yesterday or the day before, I can't remember, uh, when we were watching the history of FNAF made by John, aka FNAF, um, the books came out, and when the books came out, Scott specifically said, the books are a different universe from the game. So the community was very eager to just like write the books off and like not don't pay attention to the information there. But the books were the first time that we actually get the name William Afton. And when the this game came out and in this game they give us confirmation that hey, you know, these are not the 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 sign choices that we that we wanted Mr. Afton. Everybody was like Holy shit! <laughs> There's definitely a connection between William Afton and, you know, William Afton from the books and William Afton from the games. And I think that's, that's very fucking cool. I have been looking forward to this game for a long time, and now I finally get to play it. Well, before then, let's do some housekeeping. Hola, Jose. Thank you for being here. Um, let's see. We're also super, super close to reaching affiliate. So if you want to uh, support me, if you want to help me out, you can just drop a follow here on twitch.tv slash edubrasal. Click the follow button. You'll be contributing to that bar over there. Your name will appear down here. And anything that you type in chat will also appear down there. And I am like 
a few few like uh, 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 a few more viewers from getting to affiliate which is going to be super exciting so if you guys want to help out and contribute then just enjoy the stream that's all i can say so let's just jump into the game right now new game let's do it oh my gosh i'm so excited and i'm so scared Oh, so cute. Why won't you let me play with her? Little Elizabeth. Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad and screws, bolts, and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. Who I'm are you, Mysterious Voice? I'm the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Hand your unit. new career promises challenge, <laughs> intrigue, and endless janitorial opportunities. Oh my god, please so many your opportunities. Name as seen above the keypad. Oh, this cannot uh, be changed later, so please be careful. All right, then let's do it. Mike, uh, uh, oh, oh, eh, oh, Mike, Mike. It seems that you had some trouble <laughs> with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will <laughs> auto correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. Oh, Eggs Benedict, exactly what I wanted to type. Oli! <laughs> Hi! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Okay, do we get to pew pew pew? No, no pew pew? Hold on. No, no nose poop? No nose poop? Oh man. I get to click that. And it, oh shit, night one, let's do it! Oh my god, I'm so afraid. How do you play this game? I have no idea. Okay, night you can one. now open the elevator using the red and obvious button. Okay. Let's get to work. Right, red and obvious button. Let's do it. Let's get to work. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light. Oh my god. <laughs> Due to the massive success and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was <laughs> Why are we in event? the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day. And it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Bonora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Bellora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Alright, blue button. Ballora's not there. Uh -oh. She gone. It looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. All Let's right. give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Motivation! Maybe that put the spring Woo! back in her step. Come on! I <laughs> Get shocked, bitch! Let's check the light again. <laughs> Oh, now she's there. Look at that. All you need is Excellent. some light Ballora motivation. Is feeling like her old self again, and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. The now fuck? view the window to your right. All right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Oh, Funtime Foxy. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Okay, Foxy, where are you? Oh, he's not there either. What the hell? Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with All a right. controlled shock. Okay, come on, some motivation. Ah! 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 Okay, is he here? Oh, no, he doesn't want to play. Let's try another controlled shot. Alright, more motivation. Get motivated, bitch. Are you motivated enough? Oh, there he is. So motivated. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Yes. Great job. I'm in sure front of you this is will not. Vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the circus gallery control module. Alright. I'm sure this will not come to bite me in the ass. Okay, but that that that's important. Here's the thing: like the hand unit, they they they, they talk too much, right? But um, so everything that the hand unit says is important for the lore, and we're here for the lore, right? So here's the thing: they're they're saying that they were talking about how the stage was set for another, you know, like uh. I to say, like another competitor in the children's entertainment business, right? And that's essentially William Afton saying, like, hey, or not, well, William Afton is not the one talking to us, like, that's not Hand Unit, but essentially what they're, what they're explaining is that William Afton, using everything that, that's been happening with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, 
um, and Fredbear's Family Diner and all that kind of shit, he's using all of that stuff to his advantage to create a sister location, which is where we are right now. Or ne not necessarily that we are in the sister location, but we are the robotics company that rent rents out animatronics for sister locations of the Fastbear Entertainment Enterprise, right? And that's why we have Cir Circus Baby Pizza World, where Elizabeth gets um, scooped, and we're gonna see that in this game. And we have uh, Chica's Party World, I think was one of them, and you know, all of that stuff. Those, All of those animatronics are created by Afton Robotics, with the express purpose of luring children, having them isolated, and then being killed, scooped inside the animatronics, and then taken down here for Williams experiments and all that kind of, you know, messed up shit. So that's essentially where we're at in the game. Uh, let's go. Let's go on the vents again. Nothing's gonna happen in the vents, I swear. This is very different than all of the other FNAF games. This is a more... Motion trigger. Circus gallery vent. Oh, that, that, that was us. Alright, we, we triggered a motion sensor. Um... We're like exploring different areas. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Hold on, I gotta boop all the noses. Uh, check the light. Baby's not here. Where's Baby? Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's all right. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. Encourage, man! <laughs> Woohoo! Are you encouraged? You here? She's not there. Let's try another controlled shock. All right, more encouragement. You're so encouraged. Get motivated. Nope, she's not here. She she doesn't Let's like to be. Let's try another controlled shock. Oh my god, so much motivation. Are you here now? Nope, she just doesn't feel like coming out. Great job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. Oh that no, she's not your here. your duties for your first night on the job. Oh no. I want you to leave overwhelmed. Otherwise, you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. She's not here. We got a baby on the loose. Press all the lights, Simon says. We got a baby on the loose. She's not here. And the hand unit is like, oh, yeah, she's definitely here. Oh, fuck. What the fuck was that sound? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, my God. Circus gallery vent. Woohoo! Just run! Get the fuck out of here! Hey! Woohoo! Shift complete. $15 in the bag. We got it. Enjoy some time at home. Now, this is also important, what's about to happen. Let's all another pay attention. Another day, another dramatic entry in the lives of Vlad and his distressed mistress. Where will they go? What will they do? All of that and more happening now. You guys recognize Nana, the lamp? I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. You're the only vampire I've ever loved. And the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. <laughs> Upright or upside down. What does it matter? <laughs> you need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. Well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat! Will Vlad and his distressed mistress find common ground? Will they? Tune in next time. Oh, boy. All right. Do you guys recognize the lamp? That's the same lamp in the hallway in FNAF 4. So we're in the FNAF 4 house. You let the other children go see her. Why won't you let me go? All right. We got more dialogue. Welcome back for another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal career choices, and self-reflection on past mistakes. Huh? We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. All for right. male, press 1. For female, press 2. There are for no text numbers. Only, press 3. For there... other options, press 4. Can I speak? There are no numbers in this keypad. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. <laughs> There's I no see number what on... you were trying to type, <laughs> and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank okay. you for choosing Angsty Teen. Oh my god. Angsty Teen voice, of course. What's the Angsty Teen voice? 
All right. Can I can I talk? Can I can I discuss what's going on here? So, oh my god. Can I just like explain? <laughs> Give me a second. So the lamp is the same lamp from the house in FNAF 4. Therefore, we the like the player we are somehow connected to FNAF 4 house, right? We are somehow connected to the crying child. Now, we already know, we've already established that the crying child is Evan. The we elevator know. stopped. You know the routine. You can get out now or whatever. Stay here if you want. All right, shut up for a second. So, we're definitely connected to the crying child because that's the same house, but we know the crying child gets chumped and the father, William, tells the crying child or Evan I will put you back together whatever we know so we are connected to that and the hand unit uh, the name of the hand unit is Mike so if we're connected to Evan which is connected to William Afton which you know is connected to us then more than likely we are Michael Afton and then further in the game we're gonna see that uh, everything that's going on in this story tells us the story of like how Circus Baby got possessed and that's why we hear the voice of the little girl in between knives that said like, Daddy, why won't you let me go near her? In a, in a British accent, it's like, you let all the children play with her, Daddy. And, you know, that is Elizabeth. And the, the Aftons, for some reason, like, I don't know, sometimes they have a British accent, sometimes they don't. It's weird. Um, most often they have a, a, a British accent, all of them. Um, but that's the voice of Elizabeth, uh, William's Afton's daughter. So, what we know so far, William Afton, he's, you know, creator of Afton Robotics, he designs animatronics, he was in business with Henry Emily, they opened um, Fredbear's Family Diner, in which his younger son, Evan, gets killed uh, by the animatronics, he possesses the animatronic that drives William, in my theory, it drives William to do more fucked up shit in which he kidnaps children and he does so and you know kidnaps children and kills them and all that kind of stuff and he does so using animatronics that he himself created and that's what we're seeing in in this facility this rental facility is where we see the creations of william afton the animatronics that he designed and created in order to be able to kidnap children kill them and experiment with them and in doing so hopefully being able to figure out the mystery of the death of evan and put him back together, which is what he promised him when he was dying. All right, we're all caught up. Let's go. Uh, but yeah. So funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Oh, shit. OK, so not that funny, but it's a story. It is a story. Super funny. Oh, and the whole thing with Vlad, like the, the, the soap opera that we watch at the end of their ship and Vlad and all that kind of stuff that character of Vlad is supposed to symbolize uh, William Afton. That's why Vlad is all purple and stuff. And, you know, they're, they're always discussing, like, oh, it's not my baby. Oh, it's because everybody's been debating, like, is the crying child connected to William or not? And this is a way of, like, showing us that, in fact, the children are Williams, right? Because it's clear that, you know, the, the, the kid is a vampire just like his father. Um, so even though William tries to deny it, quote unquote, or Vlad tries to deny it because we don't know if William denies anything. Vlad tries to deny it, but it's just to drive home the point that the vampire kid is related to the vampire dad, right? And that's what they're trying to drive at here in the game, is that all of these people, uh, the crying child, Mike... Okay, and let's start Elizabeth with your nightly chores. are connected to William. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but All right. whatever. Alright, Ballora, are you on stage? She seems to be. She's right there. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Uh, well, she was there. Let's what do you mean? Her. All right, that should let's should be fun. Won't well, zap her. Zap! Alright, she there now? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm, s I'm sorry, Ballora. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what you're saying, but I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay, what happens now? Well, let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make uh, sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. Is that it? <laughs> you didn't hear any of that? What the fuck? Oh my god, I think they're staring at me. I think that's the whole thing. Great. Great. Oh. 
Oh no, your voice. Great. Your voice is all fucked up as well. What there the seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. Oh my Default god, you're Default settings have you. been restored. Please uh, proceed through the vent ahead oh, of you shit. to Circus Baby's auditorium. That gave me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like that actually made me shiver. Oh boy, I hate, I hate this. Okay, let's go fast. Let's go fast. Motion trigger. Circus yeah. gallery vent. Mo motion trigger. Let's go. Let's go fast. Gotta go fast. Circus baby had a busy day today. Oh, let's did check she? the light and make sure she's in proper working order. All right, baby, are you here? She's not here. We still haven't seen her. Oh, circus baby, we aren't here to play hide and seek. Oh. Let's encourage baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Sure, let's do it. Shock. Oh, that didn't work. It didn't do anything. Let's try another controlled shock. That didn't do anything. Oh, no. She messed up with the controls. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate baby. Oh, boy. Please stand by while I reboot the system. Oh, shit. I will be offline momentarily during this process. No, don't do me. Various other systems may be offline as well. Don't such as me. security doors, oh, vent no. locks, and no. oxygen. No. Commencing system restart. Oxygen? Doors? What do you mean? Hello? Motion trigger. Entryway vent. There's something Fire in the vent. Auditorium maintenance vent opened. Oh no. There's something in the vents. Ballora gallery maintenance vent opened. They're all ex escaping. They all escaped. Oh shit. Hello? I There's don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do, to come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this. That is a good question. Apparently, maybe curiosity? Maybe ignorance? No! I, there I, is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place. And it worked for him. Hi, hello. I recommend that you hurry, though. Welcome, Mr. Gaiman. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. Eye contact with what? Safe from what? Interest. Oh no! I came here because of oh no under the desk. I I came here because of the big paycheck. Grab here, click and drag. Okay, I I grab. I click and drag. Oh no. Oh no. Don't make eye contact with what? Oh shit. Can I open it? I can't. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. What was in here? So that that circus baby talking to us. I changed my name. Uh what was it before? Who Who was talking to me? Hello? What? Oh, gamer says, welcome. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh no, no, no. I made eye contact. Am I going to die? Am I going to die? I made eye contact. I'm sorry. I was trying not to. Knock knock. knock. Oh shit, oh shit, no, 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 close it, close it, no, no, close it, close it, close it, close it, thank you. No, you don't get to open my door, alright? You you don't get to open my door. Oh, fuck. I don't want to, I don't want to make eye contact. Should I just avoid all the holes altogether, just like... Stare here at the oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. No, don't do it. Don't do I'm holding on for dear life. Don't do it. No, 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 no. You let go of my She's watching us. Who is? Yes, get out of here. Oh my god. Why would you do that to me? 
When your guy oh, comes back online, me. he is going to tell you oh. that he was unsuccessful. That you must restart the system manually. He will then tell you to crawl through Ballora Gallery as fast as you can to reach the breaker room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. Ballora will not return to her stage anymore. She will oh, catch shit. you. The power will be restored shortly. When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, go slowly. She cannot see you and can only listen for your movement. When right. you hear her music become louder, she is growing near, listening for you. Wait and be still. Oh shit. Thank How you for was your patience. Uh, my brother was awesome. Thank you. The power system cannot be restarted it was a couple days ago. You will need to restart the power system manually. Please return to the primary control module. All right. Primary control module. Uh, my brother was a couple days ago. It was pretty good. Thank you for asking. I had a great time. Oh shit. That like I I know nothing technically happened because I did hold on to the fucking door for dear life, but I felt like you know, it was being grasped out of my my control like <laughs> you know, I was really holding on for the door and the door was just like, "Nope, I'm going to open regardless." Circus gallery event. Oh my god. Okay, so what is you I'll say so who do we trust? Do we trust baby or do we trust the hand unit? Like one is one of them is telling us to go fast, the other one is telling us to stop. I'm going to will now be required to crawl through the Ballora gallery using All the right. vent to your left to reach the breaker room. All right. It is recommended that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible as to uh. not disturb Ballora. All I right. will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. How about I don't do what you're saying? <laughs> Which, by the way, this sounds for the nose boobs are horrible. The fuck are these sounds? All right. I am gonna do what? Oh no! I am going to do what baby told us to do. Just go slow, don't run, and listen for Ballora. I'm guessing I gotta go that way. I don't hear anything. Laura, are you here? I don't hear anything. I hate the dark. It seems you are taking oh, a long time. Fuck. Please proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. Shut up. You almost gave me a heart attack. Hello, boy. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to this fucking hellhole. Oh, boy. Scare the cra <gasps> I hear her. Oh, no. Oh, that's her. Oh, hi, Ballora. Hi. I don't know if you guys can see her, but she's right there. Hi. Hi. You. I love your dance. I recognize the song. It's in every YouTube video ever covering FNAF. Everybody uses the song. So that's where the song comes from. It's from Ballora. Why is the door not moving? Like, oh shit! She's close. I don't see her. Okay, she's gone. The door doesn't come any closer. Don't trust the voice. Trust Circus Baby. Hey, listen, please. I, I am, I am. I, 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 I am listening. Uh, I'm trusting Circus Baby. I'm going slow. I'm not running. Oh shit! She moves fast. Go away, please. Go away, please. Oh. Oh. Oh, I made it. Hold. Oh. She's fast. You may now interface with the breaker oh, control box. Oh, no. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you Fun feel you are Freddy. in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Wait, what? What? Calm down and go back to sleep. No what? Here. Wait, what am I doing? Go back to your stage. What am I doing? Is okay. 
Elephant and Freddy. Always look at danger level. All right. Uh, oh, shit. He gets angry if I use the camera? Okay. Uh, restart. Oh shit. Alright. Oh I gotta I, oh I gotta hold it. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Let's go back to our stage. Oh fuck. Alright, go on the green. Oh, I hate your voice, man. Oh my god. Oh shit. No one is here. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Everything is okay, Freddy. Ah! <laughs> oh shit! He was right in front of me. I am preemptively screaming. <laughs> you have to fix all with the camera. I know, but when you die, you will start with Ballora again. Oh no! I have to do Ballora again? Are you kidding me? Ah! Oh shit! Okay, that's online. Oh shit! I hate this. Oh fuck! <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Yep, pretty hard, right? Yep, yep. It's uh, it's terrible. Oh fuck! Oh shit! I think I'm dead. Oh no! Never mind. Everything is okay. Don't worry about me. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah, go back to sleep. Oh, fuck me. Calm down. down. Where is she? What? Where is he? Where'd he go? Where is he? Where'd he go? Am I dead? Am I dead? Where is he? Calm down. Oh shit! No one is here. He was right in front of me. Oh, he's right there. Go back to your stage. Oh shit! Okay. Oh my god! Is okay. But like, it's like every everything I do, just the the the. Oh my god! Oh shit! I don't get it. No one is here. Just, just calm your tits. It's bedtime. Let's go back to our stage. Okay, online, online. I'm, I'm fine. I'm your friend. Don't, don't worry about me. Oh, fuck. Fun time A. Fun time auditorium. Man, I hate this. This is the worst. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ah, uh, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate it. I hate it. Ah, ah. Yeah, it's just a mouse. Oh my god. Oh shit. Go away from. Get get away from me. Oh boy, I'm just spamming space, man. Like nobody's business. All right. Oh shit. Where is he? All right. No one is here. Just calm your tits. Just calm your tits. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, fuck. I am so frantic. I, d I don't understand this game. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Wait, I forgot something that will make you angry. What is it? What is it? Why would it make me angry? Oh, I hate your voice. Your voice sucks. Who the fuck goes to a, a children's restaurant where the guy's like, yeah! Everything is okay, Freddy. Don't, don't even worry about me. Everything is okay. The sun's getting real low, big guy. 
When you end with him, you will stay with Balor. Oh my god, I gotta do Balora again. Fuck. Ah! Ah! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Shut up! Oh fuck! <laughs> that scared the crap out of me again. Thank you, thank you for the sub or for the follow. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Fuck. All right. Where is he? Where he go? Okay. Oh my god, we're almost done. I am so fucking scared of this. Oh shit! 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 Don't don't get angry at me. Just calm down. Am I like taking forever to do this shit? Like, am I am I safe? And I just like, if I just pam the button, am I good? Oh shit! I'm just expecting to. Anyways, I haven't tell a name, but uh, wait, what? I haven't tell a name, but in English, my name is Broken Oven. What? Oh, Forno Roto. Okay, okay, I see. <laughs> broken Oven. I see. Forno Roto. Well, I speak Spanish, so oh shit. So it's very similar to Orno Roto, which is what we call it. All right, everything is okay. Yeah, Broken Oven. That's a nice name. Where is he? All right, he's over there. Oh fuck me, man. No one is here, man. Don't worry about it. All right, last one, last one. Oh shit. It's bedtime. Yep, sun is getting real low, big guy. How about we go f <laughs> fuck off? No, you don't know I'm here. You don't know. You don't know me. You don't know who I is. You don't know where I've been, what I've done. You don't know me. Oh, shit. We're in the home stretch. Don't kill me now. Great ah! job. This completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed <laughs> back through the Ballora Gallery with oh care, my and God. we'll see you back here tomorrow. Holy shit. <laughs> ah! I gotta do Ballora again. Are you kidding me? Ah! Which way am I going? Straight ahead? Alright. I don't hear her. Ballora, don't do it. Don't do it, Ballora. I'm going slow, guys. I'm going slow, I swear. I got the heebie-jeebies already. Okay, I see where I have to go. Oh. No, there's nobody here. Oh my god, we're so close. I can hear someone creeping through my room. No, there's nobody here, but Laura. Why do you have a normal voice? So is Ballora William Afton's wife? Is that who she is? He reconstructed his wife into a robot? Because she left him? Oh man. Don't do it, Ballora. Perhaps not. Oh shit. I'm not here, Ballora. Don't even worry about me. Oh my god, she's gonna get me. Oh, fuck. I thought she was gonna get me. Woo! Shift complete. 15 more dollars. Hell yeah. We're making some dough. I'm making bag. God damn. Okay, he's not my As baby. the sun sets, so also does another chapter Popcorn. in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love rise again? That and more happening now. We will never know. Clara, the baby isn't mine. He isn't it mine. Is, Vlad. They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. So what? Lots of kids get hyper and run around and stuff. They had to knock him out of the air with a broom. I have to go. Finally, some relaxia. They're going to dock your paychecks. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't get paychecks. <laughs> you work the graveyard shift at the Friday Taco. Don't lie to me. Oh, the humanity. Oh, oh the humanity. When will the heartbreak end? 
<laughs> when will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long lost love? Oh my Tune god. In tomorrow to find out. <laughs> Whoa, it's me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the lamp. FNAF 4, lamp, hallway, confirmed. William Afton, crying child, related. Michael Afton, his son. Circus baby, Elizabeth. No, you're gonna get scooped, Elizabeth. Listen to daddy when he tells you get away from the Welcome robot. Back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What Ooh. would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? Nope. We understand the stresses of a new job and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. Uh, Bad Bunny, please. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting... Casual, casual Bongos. bongos. <laughs> Classic. Uh, what night is this? This is night... Now that your elevator experience three. has been customized to your night needs, three. and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Why? Please enjoy the rest of your descent. Motherfucker, I did everything you asked me to. Why are you docking my pay? Mysterious Night. That's a good Christmas song. Mysterious Night. Night 3, baby. Let's do it. Oh, man. Alright. Can I go? Can I go now? I'm, I'm enjoying my bongos. Enough of that. Loving my bungos. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. Oh shit. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to I reach to the do parts it. and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. I have to do it with Funtime Freddy, that asshole? I hate him. Where? Okay, Ballora. Oh, shh. Is she disassembled? Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. What? Let's check on Funtime Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. Oh, Funtime Foxy is 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 a girl. All right. Uh, she's not there. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime what do you Auditorium. Mean? There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Why? Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Can I speak to the manager? The fuck. Funtime Auditorium maintenance vent open. Uh, person services equals Unlike Funtime Ballora, Freddy. Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use what? it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Are you fucking kidding me? What? One time Freddy is my favorite, and I know that he's one of his crap from making fun time Freddy with a bonbon. I mean, I love the voice actor, he's a swell guy. But I don't like what fun time Freddy stands for. He's kind of an asshole. He's always taunting you and shit. Oh my god. So I gotta do the same Balora bullshit, but now in the dark with Foxy? Oh my god. Oh fuck! He's right there. She's right there. She's a girl. 
Oh, fuck me, man. This is a jump scare waiting to happen. Uh, I don't remember this part. Um, if you see... If oh, fuck, okay. If I see him, I run? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm not even moving, man. And why am I listening to the to the hand unit? He lied to me with the Ballora bullshit. Why is he not lying to me with the Foxy bullshit? Oh my god. Oh my god. How far away is this door? Uh, I'm moving. Uh, I'm moving. No! 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 How far away is the door? Uh, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving! Oh my god, I made it! Oh Motion my god! Trigger, parts and service. <laughs> Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is oh, out of power, which boy. should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. Uh, to reach it, we will first need to open uh, the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's uh, important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Under his right cheek. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. This ga game gives me the heebie-jeebies so much. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Right eye. Next to his right eye. All right. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. All right. Oh, fuck you. Good How job. No. The face plates should now be open. Yeah, they locate are. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. This? Oh, fuck. Excellent. Illusion The chest disc. cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. It's not a power module. It's an illusion disc. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Oh, Bonnie. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Bonnie. Where is she? Or him. Or, oh. Oh, I see you. Oh, oh. You wanna be sneaky, sneaky. Oh. I hear you. Where is you? Bun Bun, where are you? Bun Bun, where is you? Oh, I see you. Hi, Bun Bun. Oh, you're being cheeky, aren't you? Aren't you just being the cheekiest? Aren't you just being a bad Bun Bun? Where is you? Where'd you go? Where did you go? Where are you? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh. Um. Pay attention to Bon Bon. Press the large black button boy. beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. I'm trying. I'm gonna go full on Justin Bieber. Baby, I wasn't trying. All right. Okay, Bon Bon, where are you? Oh, shit. Okay, so if I click him he runs away so i gotta be like sneaky sneaky oh there he is sneaky sneaky and oh he's too fast he's a fast one he's a fast boy how am i supposed to do this then where the fuck are you hey 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 where are you hey 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 oh there he is hey hi bum bum Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to catch him. But like, where is he? I only see him here. Oh, there he is. Hi. How am I supposed to get him? Now I will scare you. Okay, but how, how do I get him to like not move? Bon Bon. Why are you being an asshole? Hey! Hey! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, first death. <laughs> first death. Oh, no. I have to do Foxy's Auditorium again. Oh, no.
Oh no, I have to do the auditorium again. Protocol auditorium maintenance vent open. Ah. Uh. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed oh, forward oh. to reach the parts and service room. Oh shit, I see him. Or her, rather. Oh, he's moving. He's being a cheeky. Chicky chicky dink. Am I not moving? Why is he always in the same place? Or she? Why is she always in the same place? Alright. We've done this before. We can do it again. Oh boy. Not here. Oh, okay, we did it. Woo! Woo! Motion trigger, parts and service. <laughs> oh, you heard something Great in your job house? Reaching Probably parts and service. <laughs> it seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. All right. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the faceplate release triggers in a specific order. Yeah, it's probably And bun -bun. it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. All right. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and right press cheek. it. Right cheek. Let's go. Right cheek. We Great. did. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and left press cheek. it. Left cheek. Left cheek. Done. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Right eye. Boink. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Nose open. Yeah. Good A handsome job. face. The face plates should now be open. They are. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Right here. Boink. Got it. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. All right. Boink. Great work. Illusion you will now out. be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. All right, where is she? Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Where is she? Bon Bon, where are you? Oh, where did she go? Where are you, Bon Bon? Hey, Bon. Oh, there you are. Oh, he comes up. He comes up. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh no! It was so close. Okay, okay, okay. I think I know I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Alright. Where are you, Bon Bon? I think I got okay, 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 okay. So he's gonna come up. Very slowly. Very slowly. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. I see the button. Press the button. Yeah! I got you, bitch! You required both power <laughs> modules. This completes Fuck your you. tasks for the night. <laughs> Please exit the building through Funtime yeah. Auditorium, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. You weren't expecting that, didn't you, dumbass? <laughs> Is he, not she? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. I gotta go back. Fuck me. All right. All right. Where are you, Foxy? I hear you. I hear you. I don't hear you anymore. Where did you go? Where is she? Oh, I hear her. Hey, Foxy, 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 Foxy. Don't mind me. I'm just strolling along. I just want to go home. Watch my soap opera. I need to know what happens to Vlad and his wife. I wanna have some popcorn and listen to some casual bongos. Sounds <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh my god! I didn't see him! Daddy, she can make balloons! Have you seen her make balloons? Oh, Daddy, let me go to her! Oh. 
Oh, what is this? Was Shh, I supposed to die? And quiet. You've been sleeping for quite a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last night. I missed my the show! The cameras were searching for you, but they couldn't find you. I have you hidden too well. I kidnapped you. Oh, fuck. I missed my show, god dang it! What happened to Vlad? Why am I stuffed inside an animatronic? What anim animatronic is this? It, it doesn't look like Freddy. It looks more like a chica animatronic. What, where am Don't I? Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. Alright. I am only going to keep you for a little while. Why? Try for what not purpose? To wiggle, though. You're inside something that came from my old pizzeria. Oh. I don't think it was ever used. At least not the way it was meant to be used. Too dangerous. It's Wait. just big enough for one person to fit inside. But just barely. This could very well You're be... In the scooping room. Do you know why they call it the scooping room? Because it's we get scoop sacrum? Dummy. This is the room where they use the scooper. Oh, for I the ice cream. That would be obvious. Yes. Isn't that a fun name for something? Yeah, I mean I love the ice cream. Scooper. Yes. It sounds like something you would use for ice cream. Exactly, I have one in my house. Or sprinkles. Yes. It sounds like something you would want at your birthday party. Of course. To ensure that you get a heaping portion of Every good thing. Give me a shovel. I wonder, though, if you were a freshly opened pint of ice cream, uh -huh. how you would feel about something with that name. A scooper. Thankfully, I don't think a freshly opened pint of ice cream feels anything at all. I feel delicious. Uh-oh. It sounds like someone else is in the building. Shh. All right, so this might very well be Bring her over. Forward. One. Spring Bonnie. Okay, stop. Set it down. Watch because it says from my old pizzeria, it was never used for this, like, as it was intended. So this, is this the, the Spring Bonnie suit? Before William Afton, you know, became Springtrap and got himself fucked? Uh, this is Enner, I think. But Enner is just an endoskeleton. It's not an actual, like, suit. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the people talking. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Because she clearly says, this came from my old pizzeria. That's so loud. What's going on? What is this? Oh shit, Ballora. Hi, Ballora. That's so loud. Ennard is the one who's talking. I think you're in Music Man. Oh, Music Man. How, how you figure Music Man? Hi, Ballora. Such a pretty face. There's Abandoned something say very oh. important that I've learned how to do over time. Could be. Do you know what that is? How what? to pretend. Oh. Do you ever play make-believe? Sure, I love Dungeons and Dragons. Pretend to be one way. Yes. When you are really the other. I always pretend I'm a ranger. It's very important. School Ballora class. Never learns. Oh. But I do. You know what the scooper is? Yeah, I know. There's something I wrong know. on the inside. The only thing that matters is knowing how to pretend. Pretend. Oh shit, oh shit, oh my god. Who did that to my girl Ballora? Oh, that was the scooper, of course. 
the sculptor. I'll open the face plates for you. That way they can find you on the cameras. She's been scooped. Now all you have to do is wait. She done got herself scooped. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Oh my your god, no, the spring locks. Causing them to come loose. You oh don't want shit. Them to get too loose. Trust me. Oh shit, resource management game. Oh my god. Am I gonna get spring locked? I'm gonna get spring spring stabbed. I'm gonna get stabbed by the spring by the spring locks. Spring lock failure. Oh shit. Mini arenas? What? Okay, I know I can shaky shaky. Shake 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 shaky. Shake 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 shaky. Alright. Oh my gosh. Keep them wound. How long do I have to do this for? Can I click you? Boink, boink, boink. No. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I didn't notice that they were coming in from the front. I thought they were coming in from the sides. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought they were coming in from the side. I didn't know <laughs> they were coming in from the front. Jesus Christ. Okay, can I wiggle? Wiggle, 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 ever bad. Wiggle, wiggle, I'll wiggle, wiggle. wiggle. Face plates for you. Thank you for not making that me see through the whole thing. Find you on the all right. Now all you have to do. One, two, three, four. Oh, I got four on that side, and how many on this side? One, I'd recommend two, three. That you keep this. Oh, there's like oh my god, there's up. so many. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. I didn't see half of them. You don't want them to get too loose. All right, we Trust don't want them to come too loose. All right, I got you. There's so many of them. I thought there was only like three on each side. Oh shit! All right. I don't. I I can't see anything honestly because the thing is that my room is so lit right now. Not in the fun way, but in the you know. I have a bunch of lights pointing at my face, kind of way. I don't know. Are they? Are they here? I don't hear them. Oh boy. So this is very dark for me. Oh shit! All right. Oh no no no! They're coming in. They're coming in. Why? Why are they coming in? Oh no! They're all coming in. Why? What the hell? Am I just supposed to let them come in? Oh fuck. Oh my god. What am I am I <sighs> How am I supposed to do this? They're they're coming in! Ah! They're in the zoo with me! Why? Oh shit! Oh no, they're on the size too. I can't wiggle. If I wiggle, they. Oh no! Ah! Oh no! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh mini game! Oh fuck! Oh, all right. Mini game. Lore. We're playing a circus baby. Oh my gosh! Uh yeah. Um, how do I throw? the fuck is that control? Hold on. Wait, what? What? What is that key? Wait, what? The fuck is that key? I can shift. How do I? How? How? How does one? Oh. Oh my god. All right. All right. I think I messed up because I, I wasted one pumpkin or cupcake. Yeah, I don't have enough cupcake. Uh, I messed up. Oh, my cup. Okay. Um, hold on. I think there's a way to do this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Come, can come down. Can you get up here? No. All right. 
How am I supposed to do this? Then? Oh, okay. All right. You gotta get cake to all the children. So happy. Um. Oh, I messed up. I messed up big time. <laughs> okay, what do you do? Hello? Only three? What am I supposed to do with only three? Ah. Oh. Oh, I messed up. I messed up again. Okay. Well, I mean, I know I'm not gonna get the, the lore that I need because I fucked up the, the thing. So let's just get to the end. Oh, hi, children. Hi, you guys are awesome. I love you. Wee! Oh, wee! Wee! Hi! Oh, shit. I died. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. All right. Uh, there's time. Yeah, I know. I know the end of this mini game, this game. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We hopefully we'll see it again because I, I think I'm gonna keep dying in this mini arena section. Like this is impossible. Oh boy, there's so many spring locks though, and I can barely see the mini arenas coming that into into the suit. Ah, uh, shit. They can find you on the all right, all right, yeah, yeah, they can find now, me in the cameras. All you have to do is wait. Keep the spring locks loaded, I, I get it. I recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Yep, I get it. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Alright. Trust me. Trust you. I trust you with my whole heart. I trust you with my life. I trust you so much, Circus Baby. You're the most trustworthy animatronic ever. So much trust going your way. I trust you with everything I've got. You want my social security number? You got it. You you need my bank account information? Don't even ask twice. I'll give it to you because you're so trustworthy. Oh shit, I see you there. All right. I wiggled. And that loosens the spring lock so fucking hard just by wiggling a little bit. All right. Just keep them wound. How long do I have to do this for? I have no idea. Alright. Use the thing. Oh, I, I see them. They're coming into the suit. They're coming in. They're gonna do bad things to me. Hey, get off my suit. Get off my suit, you children. Annoying children. You and your meddling dog. Get off my lawn. Okay, so the mini arenas that are coming inside the suit, they're not really doing anything to me. It's just when the spring locks... Um, when, when the spring locks fail, that I get jump scared, I think. So I gotta I gotta keep an eye on the ones on the side. The ones that are coming in, like, they're, they're coming in. They're gonna do what they wanna do. We're having a party over here. There's so much space in this in this suit. Are we just having a mini arena party here? It's fine. Like, those, those doors are fine. They can be my friends. They can just stay there. You know, they don't need to pay rent, they can just live in here with me. Oh shit, there's one right there, alright. I can barely see anything, because I have so many lights. Oh shit, alright. I have so many lights pointed at my face, I cannot see what's going on in the screen. Oh boy. Oh jeebus. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Oh boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Don't you dare. Oh, my God. There's another one. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh! God damn it. Ah. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Ah. Ah. How? I don't get it. I don't get it. Game over. Yeah, I get it. But I don't get it. Another mini game? Maybe? Straight into the night? Oh my god, we gotta do this shit again. Alright. Okay, wiggle, 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 wiggle. I wiggle uh, so much. Yes, open the face, place. Yes, How am I supposed to do that this? Way they can find you on Jesus the Christ. Now all you have to do is wait. I don't know if I'm getting I'd killed. I recommend that you keep the spring locks well. Shut up. 
Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. I don't know if I'm getting killed because of the Minorinas climbing on the sides or because the spring locks are just, you know, uh, I, I cannot keep up with the spring locks. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's killing me. If it's the Minorinas or if it's the spring locks. I mean, of course, the, 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 the jump scare is the Minorinas, right? But see, there's one right there. Um, I know that the, the jump scare is the Minorinas, but... Um, Maybe that triggers regardless of if, if it's the Minorinas that are, that are climbing on the sides or if it's just that, you know, I didn't keep the, the springs loaded. So maybe that's something, I don't know. Okay. Is there anybody climbing on me? I don't see anybody. Alright. Okay, I see you there. Just get the fuck away from me. And these are coming in like this. I know these are harmless. The the ones that are coming in um, from the front, I know those are harmless. It's the ones that are on the sides that are, that are dangerous. And maybe I don't have to wind them up like to completion, right? Maybe just a little bit, each one, and that's fine. And maybe I switch to the side so I can keep an eye on the mean arenas that may be coming to kill me. Maybe that's how we get through this. I see you get perfectly. Please, please. I, I wiggle twice and she wouldn't go. Oh my Jeebus. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. Oh my Lord of Lords. Oh King of Kings. Oh Jeebus. Oh my goodness. Alright. Ah, I hate when they start doing the thingy. Alright, I have one there. Oh, jeebus. Oh, my gosh. Get back. Get loaded. Oh, my gosh. 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 No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't do that shit to me. There's another one that's coming on the side. I don't know how to do this. Oh, minigame. Let's do this shit. Alright. We know better now. Alright. Ah, come on. Cla Please. Thank you. Alright. So. Uh, one, two. Oh, no, it's only two. Fuck. I already fucked it up. Alright. Maybe they, they give me more. One, two. One, two. Uh, one. Okay, so how am I supposed to do this then? I don't have enough. Okay, hold on. Because I know here I got these, right? And so I gotta go like. I gotta stand here, maybe, and go. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Stop taking my freaking cupcakes, okay? Like, don't do that shit. Jeez. Alright, so I got those. I keep going over here. There's gotta be some that are just like all of them in line, right? Or no? Huh. Let's see, let's go over here. So I got those. And they're happy. They're so happy. Alright. Another one's there. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I gotta jump here. Alright. And I get those two. Alright. And then. Oh, that's the goal. Okay, so I only have one more cupcake. How am I supposed to get to all of them? How am I supposed to get to all of them? That makes no sense. Oh, no, 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 Oh, fuck. Okay, I forgot that I have to jump there. Alright. Let's do that. Bunk. Okay, let's get to the goal then. We we did it. But we didn't feed all the children. Alright. Uh, try just run in front of you. Please just throw it low. <laughs> I'm trying my best here, okay? <laughs> I'm trying my best. 
<laughs> this game is difficult. Even the mini games are hard. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know how to get past the fucking mini arenas. Ah, I hate this. I hate the mini arena section. This is so I'll obnoxious. Open the plates for you. That way they can find you yeah. on the cameras. Fuck you on the faceplate. Now all you have to do is wait. The only thing too is that I don't know I how long that this you takes. Keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. Yeah, I trust you so much. I just don't know, like, because th there's no like hour counter, right? Like in the previous games where you you, you can see, like, oh, you're 3 a.m., you're 4 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever. Like, I th there's no clock here, so I don't know. Like, I don't know how much more I have to do this for, you know? Like, how, how much longer? Like, uh, allow me to ever so slightly explain. The mini game lasts two minutes max. Two minutes? It feels You're like an hour. What do you loose. mean? Two you minutes? Don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. It feels like I've been stuck here for weeks. Oh, I shook you. You were shooketh. I shooketh you. You were shook. I shake. I wiggled. You were wiggled. You were down. Why you come up if I shooketh? Why? Jeez. Ah! <laughs> Anger. I ah! recommend that you keep the spring locks ah! wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. No, you it's not my breathing and my. To uh, too loose. Trust me. How is anybody supposed to perform for children's entertainment if you can't even breathe without these freaking spring locks deactivating? Like that makes no fucking sense. If you're supposed to be up on stage dancing and singing and giving cake to the children with a suit that if you just blink or move. It stabs you in the eyeballs. Like, that makes no sense. Woo, wiggle! I went from... Denial? To anger? To confused anger. I'm confused as to the logistics of the spring lock mechanisms. Like, who designed this? Well, I know who designed this shit, but why? <laughs> William, I need to talk. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, William? Do I have to shake less? Like, instead of doing like quickie tap, 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 just like do one tap and one tap? Or I, I don't know. Plates for you. That way they can Let find it spring you lock on you. What? Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. I just realized something. This is gonna be a pain in the ass to edit for YouTube because I don't wanna like when I upload the the VOD to YouTube. I just don't want the video to just like you know people have to like see through me doing this here for like three hours. So I'm gonna have to like speed this up or like make a cut or something like that to just like make it a little bit more dynamic because just me sitting here just turning springs for two hours. <laughs> I don't think that's entertaining content for YouTube. Oh, man. Okay. Wiggle twice. Maybe the, the, the trick is to wiggle slow. Maybe that, that that's the trick. Instead of wiggling violently, 
safe. Maybe, I don't know. How about we try that? We wiggle slow. Slow wiggle. Alright, slow wiggle. Maybe that works, I don't know. Oh, I did it! I did it! Yes! 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 Woohoo! It was the slow wiggle! Slow wiggle for the win! Woohoo! Wiggle, 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 wiggle! Yes, Vlad! As the moon rises, so oh my also god, popcorn! Yes, I'm so happy! Corn lovers. Ah! Clara, it's not my baby! Vlad, you suck! Wait, was that a vampire joke? That was so <laughs> you lame, suck. Clara. Like I haven't heard that a million times. Okay, well, how's this? I'm taking the car. The joke's on you. It's a rental. Well, the joke's on you. I set the thermostat to 90 before I left. Today in BBC, an adult Ooh, man like experiences the five stages of grief with five nights of Freddy's sister location. <laughs> uh, did she breathe him or something? Oh, How can the Minerians find the player in the almost passion, 10 seconds? It's so dark in him. I don't know. Intrigue, it all go to waste. <laughs> this is spring. <laughs> Let us spring lock you. You're going through the Nile. I go night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for, for showing up here. I really appreciate it. Uh, you might be doing this for three hours, three hour stream. Let's go. What about eight hours? Uh, that would be quite funny. Just wiggle, wiggle. Let the spring lights go back off. It's a little secret. Day on the yeah, job. no. <laughs> that is the last day of your first week. Some of the most valued qualities that we like to see in new employees are determination, yeah. fearlessness, and a genuine disregard for instinctive self-preservation. The fact that it ends You've on the house being on fire on the TV, which will yeah, be that's to you that's in the form of a you know. delightful gift basket. The cost of which will be oh. taken out of your next paycheck. Oh, we there's not a gift basket. baskets containing fruit, nuts, flowers, and of course the ever popular cash basket. Using cash the keypad basket. below, please enter the first few letters of the gift right. basket you would like to receive. Okay, we gotta get the cash basket so I can see the C. I'm gonna click the C. Cash it basket. Seems you had oh some shit! Trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, <laughs> and I will auto correct it for you. Thank you for selecting. <laughs> the fuck was fancy suit outside? Vampires, dude. Exotic butters. I wanted the cash. Uh, the fact that it was in the house being on Please fire be TV is a good like. Um, technicians on site today. What's it called? It's Try not a premonition. It's um, with their work if possible. Also, feel hmm. free to ask them why they are still there and encourage them to go home. What What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's not an omen. It's not a premonition. Uh, you know, like when you hint something at the beginning of a book. Because it then happens at the end of the book. Uh, what is that called? I'm, I'm pooping out the word. I have minerinas in my brain. Uh, shit. Yeah, I got exotic butters. Uh, fuck. What's the name? I'm. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's a it, it's cool symbolism that they're you know ending the Vlad show with the house being on fire and that's exactly what happens in the franchise. Uh, I always thought the the Vlad and the baby thing and the wife and all that kind of stuff. I always thought that was interesting. Entryway vent. Interesting foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. That's the word. Foreshadowing. Yes, I did it. The word came to my brain. Foreshadowing. That's cool. Foreshadowing. That's what I wanted to say. Um, 
the whole Vlad thing, I think, is very interesting. Let's check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage. Ballora is dead, my boy. She got scooped. Oh, boy. Great. Now let's check on Funtime Foxy. Oh, I'm guessing those are the day side technicians. Oh, boy. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime and Auditorium. Anert is gone. Your task today will involve more maintenance work. Anert Circus maxed. Baby had a rough day and is in need of repair. Oh, no. You she will be repairs? required to reach the parts and service room by once again sneaking through Funtime Auditorium. Oh, no. As always, please proceed with caution. Anner's mask is gone. Um, phone time all again? I don't like the phone time auditorium. I don't like it. Fucking beacon. Again? I don't like it. I hate it. Is he even here? Is Foxy even here? I don't think he's here. I'm gonna run. Run, motherfucker, run! Ding, 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 ding. I'm running. Ding, 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 ding. He wasn't even there. Motion trigger. Baby, we finally get to see you. Great job reaching parts and service. Circus Baby has been deactivated for an unknown reason. Cool, cool, It's your job to make sure she is structurally stable and secured to the conveyor. Structurally stable. Our technicians will take it from there. She has such a cool design. All right. Now what? Can you hear me? I can. Hi. I'm pretending. What's up with the fan in your belly? I said I could pretend. Yeah, you're so good. The cameras are watching. You should be an actress. I must be careful not to move. Something bad happened yesterday. Something bad always happens. I don't want it to happen again. There is something bad inside of me. Oh no. I'm broken. It's a girl. I can't be fixed. I'm going to be taken to the scooping room soon. But it's not going to fix what's wrong with me. What is bad is always left behind. Will you help me? Yeah. I want you to save what is good so the rest can be destroyed and never recovered. Sure, whatever but you say. But you must be careful. Ballora is here. Oh no. In the room with us. Ballora? Ballora will not return to her stage. Oh shit. Ballora oh. Will not return to is this body. Ballora? Right you here? Must be careful. Oh shit. You must remain calm. I'm trying. And listen to my voice. I am. There is a button on my cheek. Oh shit. You must find it and press it. A button in your cheek. This one? Which cheek? Where is it? Oh, here? I got it. Now what? I see there all the- There is a passcode that you must enter before you can retrieve me. I see all the moving things behind enter you. Enter the code carefully. What is it? What's the code? Password? Seven. Oh shit. Seven. Five. Five. One. One. Seven. Seven. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Six. Six. Five. Five. Two. Two. Five. Five. Good. A hat should have opened. Where? Take oh, this? Take the card that you find inside. This one? Now you I must turn back. I will guide you through Funtime Auditorium so you can reach the oh, scooping Oh, shit. When you are there, I want you to destroy this body. Sure. Put the card into your handheld device, and I, I can continue will. to speak to you. Now, oh, press shit. the green button to your left. Green this button to my left. This will send me to the scooping room. Not the scooping room. Scoop! Bye, baby! What's that behind you? Oh, it's gone now. There was something behind you, but now it's gone. Bye, baby! Bye! Get, don't get scooped. You gonna get scooped. Don't get scooped. Hello. All right. You will you do that? I'll uh, play Clash of Clans. Fun Good luck. Time auditorium. Ballora is going to follow you. Oh shit. She will try to catch you. Not Ballora. Avoid her. She will shit. not follow you inside the scooping room. All right. She is afraid. 
Alright. Go back now. I believe you. Alright. Go back. Go forward. Oh boy. Forward. I'm I'm going forward. I trust you. <laughs> oh whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Ballora! <laughs> Circus baby, I trusted you. Why would you do that to me? Jeez. Jeez Louise. What was that? That was Ennard. Ennard is the an uh, um, amalgamation of all the fun time animatronics that got scooped. And they all, all their endoskeletons form this mass of wires and cables known as Ennard. I gotta do all that shit again? Yeah, damn. Alright. I know they're not here, so I'm running. Run, 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 run. Hi! Hi, welcome! Welcome to the stream! Okay. Should be almost there. We're running. We're running, running, running. Alright. Parts and service. Parts and service. Great Let's job do this. reaching parts and service. Yes, I did. Circus it. baby has been deactivated for an unknown I reason. I know. It's your job to make sure she is structurally stable she and will secured be. to the conveyor. Yeah, she Our is. Our technicians will take it from there. I know. All right. Talk to me, baby. Circus baby. Talk to me, circus baby. Can Come on, you man. Hear me? Yes, I can. We've been through this before. Let's go. Remember how I said I could. Yes, you're, you should you should the be an actress. Yes. I must be careful not yeah, to Yeah, you move. must be. Something bad happened yesterday. Something bad always happens. Oh my god, something I bad don't always want happens. It to happen again. Oh my gosh. There is something bad inside of me. <laughs> the technicians will take I'm it from here. Lol, what technicians? Yeah, I I'm the technician. <laughs> Hi. I'm going to be taking Hi, welcome. Welcome rooms. everybody to the chat. Thank but you for exactly being here. You guys are awesome. I love you all. So that? it's interesting because it's whenever we hear Circus Baby speaking, well, some of the me? dialogue is Elizabeth talking what is and, good. you know, so Elizabeth talking from her memories as Elizabeth, covered. right? But, but must be careful. Ballora is here. some of the dialogue from Circus Baby us. is... Elizabeth Ballora having access to Circus to Baby's stage. experiences and not, not being able body. to identify what's what is Circus Baby and what is herself, right? Because she will mention things. She will mention things that There's Circus Baby did. My cheek. You must find it and press it. There, there, are, like. There's this, I don't know, I think this happens afterward, but there's a, there's a line of dialogue where um, Circus Baby says that how she was in the there stage once you must enter and only you once. That is Elizabeth talking from Circus carefully. Baby's memories, in a sense. Alright. Six. 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 Three. Three. Four. Four. Eight. Eight. One. One. Two. Two. One. One. Five. Five. Two. Two. Good. A hat should have opened. It did. Now you must thing. turn back. I will guide you. Is this your first time playing this location? It is. So you can reach the scooping room. When you are there, I want you to destroy this body. Uh, the lore is very Put complicated. It is, and that's coming device. from someone that's been and a fan since like FNAF 3. Yeah, I've been on this shit since like 2015. Now, press the green uh, the lore is one of the most left. complicated lore in all lores. This yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, green button. <laughs> bye bye. So yeah, like in in the last stream, we went through a big chunk of the lore, and what I've been doing here because I've been through the whole FNAF situation since 2015, right? That's when I I got introduced to the franchise when I think FNAF 3 was released, around the same time. You must um, follow my instructions in one yeah, time Yeah, sure, auditorium. I will. I will follow your instructions. Valora is going to follow you. She will try to catch uh -huh, you. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I will help you avoid her. Yes, I know. She will not follow you inside yeah. the scooping room. You did so well last time she you did that. Alright, yes. Go so, back now. As I was telling you guys, um, 
I first got into FNAF, like, very deep into the lore around 2015 when FNAF 3 was released. Um, but I never played the games for myself. I, I just, like, I was very deep into the lore and I wanted to understand the story. And I just would, I would watch, like, other people's Let's Plays and stuff like that to, like, try to understand where the lore is coming from. But I was only interested, interested in the story. Um, at the beginning of this year, I started going through all of the games myself. After being, like, very familiar with the lore and some things fit for me, some things don't. You know, and looking through like different source, like media sources to like try to figure out what the fuck is going on. I decided, you know what, I'm going to stream myself playing through all of these games. So we already did one through four. Now we're doing sister location. And yesterday or the day before, I can't remember, we reviewed uh, part of a video that's called the history of Financer Freddy's by John, a.k.a. FNAF, like F-U-H-N-A-F-F, -F, FNAF. Um, he made a cool video about the history of the franchise from not from a lore perspective but more like the releases of the game and how the community discovered the clues and all that kind of stuff and we did like an in-depth dive on the lore as it was being unearthed in front of us right we didn't finish the whole video we still got like a half an hour left we might do that later today or another stream I don't know uh, but yeah this is my first time playing sister location uh, some things I remember, some things I don't. Most of the stuff I don't even remember. I just remember parts of the lore because I thought that this game was the one that gave us the most lore out, out of all of them. Um, uh, uh, um. Go forward. All right. Oh. I just moved. What do you mean? <laughs> I just moved and I immediately get killed. What about the fuck you mean? <laughs> Go forward. <laughs> What the hell? Um, uh, 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 is that night four or five? This night five. Uh, FNAF two was November twenty fourteen. I first discovered FNAF in FNAF four times, but it's because that was my first steps in the internet. But I know a lot of the lore. FNAF three was March two thousand fifteen, and so on. Have you guys watched FNAF tapes? Uh, the VHS tapes I have. Um, yeah, I know about him. He's a pretty cool guy, I think. Uh, it's true. Oh, hi, Enern. You ugly ass motherfucker. Whoa, that was out of nowhere. Yep, it was. Um, when it comes to the FNAF tapes, like the, the VHS tapes, those are very cool. Um, there's this YouTuber that if you guys don't know him, you should follow him. He's an amazing YouTuber. His name is Wendy Goon. Uh, like the Wendigo, but Wendy Goon, like a goon. Um, he he has a very interesting take on the, um, on the FNAF lore, on the story of FNAF. And the timeline, you know, and he kind of like breaks it down. And some things I do agree with, some things I don't. Um, I think his version of the events is more comprehensive than, for example, uh, game theories like MatPat's um, line of events. Because the thing is that MatPat has like 70 videos on the subject. And, you know, he makes like a whole ass conclusion when the games haven't come out yet. You know, like, because... And it's not to blame MatPat, because that's just the way we had to do it. Because by the time FNAF 1 came out, we didn't know the events of FNAF 2 were going to happen. And by the time FNAF 2 came out, we didn't know the events of FNAF 3 were going to happen. So we had to like kind of like make up shit to try to make things fit. Wendy Goon, on the other high, on the other side. <laughs> Wendy Goon, on the other side, he has the benefit of hindsight, because he made the video, I think it was last year or something like that. And by that point, like most of the games have come out, right? So he has the benefit of being able to like craft his version of the timeline and the story and the order of events uh, with the benefit of like having all this information available to him, right? Uh, and I feel like his video is very good. And he also covers the VHS tapes. And the reason why he made the, the whole timeline of FNAF is because in order to explain the VHS tapes, he needed to give context on FNAF. And in order to give context on FNAF, you have to explain it all for NAF. <laughs> that, that's essentially how it goes. You have to explain the, the entire thing. Um, but Wendy Goon's videos, like aside from FNAF, he's just an amazing storyteller. Like I really like his videos. Um, so you guys should check him out. Um, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 yeah, the tips are neat, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, they are. I don't know him, makes me very high for the movie. And as an old fan, the movie will probably hit different, I think. My first FNAF tape is the perspective by each, yeah. The animatronics perspective, yeah. Um, is the finale of a tape series three? Uh huh. I, uh, if I had to guess, the movie will either be a rated uh, PG thirteen or PG fourteen at most, since the games are teen and all. 
Uh, imagine the... I, I don't know, like, if, if they make it PG, like, I would be very disappointed. <laughs> Motion Honestly. trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. Circus Baby has been deactivated for an unknown reason. It's your job to make sure she is structurally stable and secured to the conveyor. Our technicians will take it from there. Alright, let's do this again. Oh boy. Um, I hope not. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I hope it's not. I hope it's not for kids. I mean, I'm kids will watch it, but like, FNAF needs to be very unsettling. The cameras are watching. Not only because the animatronics themselves, which are the main attraction, literally, of FNAF, the animatronics Something are very unsettling. Um, but Something I mean, the, the whole franchise is about dead children. Like, you cannot go PG with dead children. <laughs> I don't need to see gore, right? Like, bad. I don't need to see Bonnie just mauling me. someone in just like a, an explosion of blood. It'd be cool, I but I don't need fixed. that. Like, FNAF doesn't really show uh, gore and blood and guts and, you know, that kind of stuff. FNAF is just about the ambience, the... Um, uh, you know, the, the that? creepy factor, the, the fact that there's an animatronic you're just staring at you on the other side of the glass and you're like, fuck, what, what do I do now? I want you to if they can, what is good, so the translate can be that feeling of like, for example, recovery. Bonnie and Chica looking at you from the glass on the office of FNAF 1. If they can translate that Belor feeling to the movies, the they don't need any kind of blood or gore or, or anything like that, right? To her stage. Belora will not return Who's making the body. movie? Uh, I think it was Blumhouse. I don't know if they're still making it or not. Careful. But it, uh, at one point, it was it was Blumhouse that was remain. making it. Uh, imagine it shows the children being stuffed into the suit. I mean, I hope not, but imagine. They, they can just, like, hint at it. They don't need to you show the kids being stuffed in the, in the animatronic suit. But they can hint at it, right? No, there Blumhouse, a Blumhouse. That you must enter before Blumhouse you makes a lot of me. good horror films. Enter the code carefully. Alright, give me the code. Five. 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 Three. Three. One. 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 Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. One. One. Five. 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 Good. A hat should have... Now I got you it. Must turn back. I will guide you yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. I get it. I get it. Just go. Go. Get out of here. Out of here. Come on. Let's go. Get out of here. Okay. Hopefully, I won't instantly die by Ennard. <laughs> if I get insta killed by Ennard, I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. I'm, I'm gonna get even angrier than with the fucking Minorinas. Yes, 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 yes. Valora is going to follow you. I got it. Because she the will thing, try to go forward. the thing with the mini arenas is that you started immediately with the mini arenas. If I die here, I have to start the whole sequence with baby again. <laughs> I was going forward. You told me to go forward. What do you mean? What am I supposed to do then? <laughs> this is so annoying. Why? What do you mean? I went forward. You lied to me. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Oh shit. Hold on. My game is like not happy with me right now. I'm running because I know nothing happens here. There's nobody here. Everybody is entered now. Motion trigger, parts and service. Yes, 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 yes. I Great get it. I get it. Reaching parts can I can service. I hit the thing? Circus Bay Jesus Christ, man. Up to make sure she is structurally stable and secured to the conveyor. <sighs> I was so chill then that happened. Yeah, I know. Now Anna is the most annoying motherfucking in FNAF. <laughs> Lamar has those fake laugh in FNAF 4. Oh my god. Fredbear. Man. Fredbear was such a fucking nightmare in FNAF 4. Uh, Golden Fredbear on, the, on Night 5 of FNAF 4. Okay, give me the passcode. Me. 
Give it to me. Enter the code carefully. Yes, give it to me, Bebe. Five. Five. Seven. 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 Four. Four. Five. Five. Nine. Nine. One. One. Five. Five. One. One. Good. All right. A hatch. I got the now thing. You must turn yeah, back. and now go. Um. Oh yeah, high numbers of Neymar. Really, that sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. Come on. Um. I think it was last week or or Monday. You uh, must follow my instructions. Might have been Monday. Time auditorium. Monday we Alora finished Penal Four. Go forward. Go forward. I'm going. Now what? I'm going forward. I don't understand it. What am I doing wrong? I don't get it. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? Somebody in chat, tell me. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What, what am I doing wrong? Can you make a poll? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have access to Stropo right now because my game, like, for some reason, the game doesn't let me, like, um, what's the name? What am I trying to say? It, 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 I cannot put it in, like, windowed mode so that I can access my second screen. So my mouse is perpetually trapped in this game until I'm done with it. Uh, what's going on? Alright, now we're moving. I, I don't, like, I don't know. I will have to go to straw poll and do it, but... Um... Somebody Google, what the fuck am I doing wrong with Ennard? Like, when she says go forward, I go forward and I die. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? Um, uh, uh, I am doing it slowly. Great job reaching parts and service. Circus Baby has been deactivated for an unknown reason. It's your job to make sure she is structurally stable yeah, and secure to the conveyor. I've done this so Our many technicians times. will take it from there. This game is mouse logged. All right, who thinks this is the run? Say I. <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you. Give me the passcode. Somebody Google, what the fuck am I doing wrong? <laughs> don't Google that directly. Just Google how to beat Night 5 because I don't know how the fuck the am I supposed carefully. to just like... I'm walking and I'm still... I'm walking here. Seven, I'm, I'm still getting killed. Seven. Nine. Four. Nine. Two. Three. Nine. Four. Six. Good. A hatch. Now you must turn. Go away. I don't like you. Ah. She says go forward. I go forward whether fast or slow. I go forward and then I die. And you're pressing shift and walk. I'm not pressing shift. I'm just moving forward. You must follow my instructions in fun time auditorium. She says walk, I walk. She says run, I run. She says jump. <laughs> I'm just holding W. I'm not doing anything else. Stop. Oh, I stopped. Go forward and Fo left. Forward and left. Keep going. I'm keeping going. Stop. I stop. Be silent. Go forward and left. Forward and left. Stop. I stopped. Hands off the keyboard. Go forward. Forward. You're almost there. Almost there. Stop. Stop. She is right in front of you. She's right in front of me. Don't move. He is here to help, Ballora. He is not here to hurt us. Ballora. He is here to help us. 
I can't move. Go she forward again. Forward Laura again. Laura is behind you. She's behind me. She is afraid of the scooping room. Oh shit. She will not follow you. All right. Yes. Yes. I got through it. Warning. You've entered a highly dangerous area. You have entered from maintenance hatch 1B, reserved for cleaning and repair of the scooper. I did it! Let's go! Entering this side of the room is strictly prohibited by the unauthorized scooper. personnel. The scooper! Oh, shit! Look at all the dead animatronics. There's Funtime Foxy. The room now. Freddy. Funtime Foxy has already been here today. Oh, shit. Ballora? Funtime Freddy has already been here today. They're all scooped. Ballora oh, there's Ennard. Hi, Ennard. You're a son Circus of a bitch. Baby has already been here today. Oh my gosh. I've hey, everybody's here. Before, but they always put me back. They always put us back inside. There's nowhere for us to hide here. Oh there shit. There's nowhere to go when we look like this. But if we looked like you, oh. then we could hide. Maybe. If we looked like you, then we would have somewhere to go. You're right. The I am handsome. The only hurts for a moment. Oh, shit. Mike's about to get done scooped. Oh, no! I thought I got scooped. I got scooped. Hello there. General Kenobi. Bad ending, let's go! I beat the game! I don't know why he won't let me come see you. You're wonderful! Where did Congrats on beating the game, thank you! Claps in chat. We're gonna talk about lore, so don't go away. Just yet. Oh my goodness! Look at that toothpaste. There's another ending. Yeah, there's like three endings, I think. But like, we've been going for like... Two hours at this point. I don't think I'm gonna have time for, you know, to do all the endings. Um, I fucked up all the mini games, so I know I knew I was gonna get the endings. Oh my God! It's the mirror. Oh, purple eyes! What does it mean? What does anything mean in this franchise? Bye, Nancy Freddy. Sister location. Amazing experience. Amazing, amazing experience. I love this game. I would love to do this again. Um, and do like you know the the other endings and all that kind of stuff. I'm more than willing to to do it again. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, 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 okay, so let's discuss lore for a second. I know there's like the the custom night and the uh, fight twenty mode and ultimate custom night and you know hell breaking loose and all that kind of stuff. But hold on. Before we get there, let me switch the camera so you can see at this pretty face. Hi. If you're enjoying this, just, you know, drop a follow. You'll be contributing to this bar over here. Your name will appear down here. And anything that you type in chat will also be in there. And you can be part of this community that is just flourishing. It's growing. Thank you for the follow. Look at the skeleton. Oh, other side. Amazing skeleton. Thank you. Thank you so much for following. I am so close to being affiliated. I think maybe this stream is the stream that I get affiliated. Oh, thank you! Oh my god, you guys are awesome! Um, and if I get affiliated after this stream, uh, you guys will be, you know, forever edge in history as the, the people that were here in chat when I became affiliated. Uh, sister location! Um, uh, 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 cutscenes, maybe? I don't know. Um, all cutscenes, yeah, maybe. Alright. Uh, that's the custom night. We're not doing that just yet. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. All right. So, uh, let's do some uh, some uh, window capture in here. Let me reach out real quick. Um, hello there. I already said that. I already made the joke. Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, there's another ending. Uh huh. Uh huh. So when are we doing the fake ending? Uh, we might like my stream schedule is Mondays and Thursdays. 5 p.m. Uh, sometimes, like I did yesterday, for example, yesterday I had like an impromptu stream because I just had some free time on my hands and I started streaming. If you guys want to be like up to date on when I'm going to be live streaming, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I usually like post when I'm going to be live streaming. Uh, but for sure, for sure, for sure, my schedule is always Mondays and Thursdays, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
always going to be here. Um, sometimes doing FNAF, sometimes doing like other things. Like we have Resident Evil, we have uh, Valorant. If people like like shooting games, like I, I love Valorant. Um, we we do a shit a shit ton of stuff. Like if you go to my YouTube channel, I can drop it here in chat. Hold on. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel, and I can also drop my socials, um, you can see all the stuff that we've been doing on live stream uh, because I upload all the VODs to YouTube. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so next stream uh, on Monday, we might be able to continue uh, sister location and get all the other endings. Uh, we can do that, and after that, we can move on to the next uh, Final Fantasy Freddy's game, which I'm also very excited to play, which is going to be Pizzeria Simulator. I have never play the game and i have never watched a let's play of the game i only know about the lore bits that get dropped in that game um and speaking of lore bits let's open this up and let's uh, let's do oh shit hold on michael uh 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 uh, uh, uh. for now there we go look at that so pretty all right uh, 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 if you want the stream to end, say one. <laughs> you guys are very, like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for not, for not saying one. <laughs> it would have hurt my feelings if somebody actually wanted the stream to end. Um, oh my god, purple. If you wanted to ever say two. Oh my god. Um, well, you need fake ending for it. Uh, oh my god, I follow him, one of the OGs. You are one of the OGs. Yeah. You're famous. You, you, you can do like, I don't know if you guys remember, but like back in the day on the internet, like everybody would leave in the comments like, first, first. Uh, you can do that. You you have bragging rights. Um, what about the mini game? You need fake ending for, 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 for custom night. Huh? Yeah. All right. I only know Afton committed arson. Was it Afton that committed arson? I don't think Afton committed arson. It, it, it might have been Henry. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's uh, either Henry or Mike or both. Um, first one, yeah. All right. So you got you you after burned. Yeah, he burned. <laughs> but I don't think he's the one that committed uh, arson. Um, so when it comes to the lore, I love Sister Location because there's a lot of reveals here. So uh, first is this one, of course. Father, it's me, Michael. British accent, right off the I bat. I did it. I found it. It was right where you said it would be. They were all there. They didn't recognize me at first, but then they thought I was you. <laughs> and I found her. I put her back together, just like you asked me to. She's free now, but something is wrong with me. I should be dead, but I'm not. I've been living in shadows. There is only one thing left for me to do now. I'm going to come find you. Oh shit, annotations. <laughs> I'm going to come find you. Hold on. How do I disable annotations? Well, it doesn't even matter. All right. Oh my God! They even brightened. Oh my gosh! All right. What's going on, guys? Hey, Doco, get out of my face! I love you, but not right now. Okay, so that that cutscene, right? We get that um, after you beat like the custom night, right? Uh, like uh, a billion twenty mode or something like that, right? Um, you get that cutscene. That is Mike, the guy that we're playing as, saying, Father, I found it where you say it will be in a British accent, right? So we, we already have the connection. British accent mean is from the Afton family, Elizabeth, when she's, you know, in between night when she said, Daddy, why would you let me go close to her? I love her. You know that you know that they're talking to the same person. Um, and this same person, we know they're talking to William. There's, because at the end of that cutscene, Springtrap shows up when they say, like, I'm going to come find you. And Springtrap comes up is because they're referring to William Afton. William Afton is the daddy of Mike and Elizabeth, right? We haven't seen the Elizabeth thing. Uh, I don't know if it's in this. Uh, I need to find that, too. Hold on. Um, uh, 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 um, baby cutscene. Um, no. No. Mm, baby minigame maybe minigame uh yes okay so 
we're gonna get to that in a second. So, um, we we didn't get the, the piece of dialogue either that says something like, "I was on stage once, um, and it wasn't for a long time. I was very acutely aware of how many children were in the room. First there were five, then four, then three, then two, then one, and then I couldn't move, but something my stomach opened and the claw came out and I attacked the girl. I don't know what that happened. Like, we get that the whole story from Circus Baby, and that's Elizabeth." Like tapping into Circus's baby, like Circus Baby's memories of how herself she got scooped, right? And that's why in the mini arena in night four, in that when when she's giving us that dialogue, she's also saying like, "How would you feel if you were the pint of ice cream that's getting scooped?" Because she herself got scooped, right? So we know that um, we we have like the pieces of the puzzle of the girl. That's saying, Daddy, I want to go closer. Why won't you let me go closer or whatever? And then we see what happens to her. And then Baby tells us about the whole scooping situation. We know that the girl in between nights that's talking to Daddy got scooped, right? By Circus Baby. And because of, we know how things work in the FNAF universe, if you get killed by an animatronic or your body gets stuffed into an animatronic or anywhere near an animatronic, your soul comes to possess that animatronic. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the follow. We're making history today. Um, so that first cutscene that we watch of Michael talking to William, that sets the stage for, okay, so who is everybody, right? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 in FNAF World, they leak sister location. In FNAF World, they leak FNAF World. Oh, FNAF World was the, um, okay, yeah, we didn't play FNAF World. FNAF World was the one that was like an RPG. We didn't play that one. Uh, hello, 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 hello. All right, so, and so of course they, here they give you like a, you know, how you can finish the 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 mini game that I fucked up like three different times. But they they, they essentially show you like how you have to administer the <laughs> the things, right? But the important part is here at the end. All right. Here comes. Blonde girl, green eyes, we've seen her before in FNAF 4. And she got herself scooped. I don't remember if it's in Sister Location or if it is in the next game in um, Pizzeria Simulator. But there's a point in time where Baby tells us that she's always acutely aware of how many people are in the room. Like that's programmed into her, right? And once she is alone with a kid, like once she's there's there's nobody else just the animatronic and the kid then that protocol happens in which you know the the kid gets scooped right and gets kidnapped um and that's what happened to elizabeth afton and that's how she died so we already know the story of the crying child we we discussed that in the last stream the crying child is evan he is the youngest son of William Afton, and he gets uh, no scoop. He gets chomped in the head by Fredbear in Fredbear's Family Diner. He dies. That eventually leads Mike, or in my theory, in my personal theory, the death of Evan in 1983 um, by the hands of Michael and the Fredbear animatronic. Um, that is what kickstarts William Afton's killing spree. Right, he promises to Evan that he's gonna put him back together, and we see that in the dialogue at the end of the game, where the the Fredbear plushie that we know is how William is talking to Evan, or the crying child. Um, we know that he tells him, "I will put you back together. You're broken. I will put you back together." Right. So based on that promise, that prompts William to like obsess about agony and remnant and all the mechanics of how. The soul of a child goes to possess an animatronic because that's what happened to Evan. He tries to replicate that and he creates the fun time animatronics. He um, starts dismantling the other animatronics, repurposing them to be the fun time animatronics. He creates them in a way that are designed like baby, where they're always acutely aware of how many people are in the room. Once they're alone with one of the children, they have uh, you know the cavity inside of them that can scoop them. And that can, you know, keep the children in them. And with that, you know, that 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 was the tools that he was going to use. 
in order to experiment with Renan and Agony and all that kind of stuff and try to figure out what the fuck happened to Evan, right? But then, shit happens, he tells Elizabeth multiple times, don't go near the animatronics, don't go near Circus Baby, and Elizabeth was so enamored by Circus Baby that she got herself scooped, and, you know, that drives uh, William even more mad. In the next game, we're gonna see uh, more minigames and stuff that kind of hint to, towards the reaction of Henry after what happened to both Evan and Elizabeth and then finding out about the fun time animatronics. But that's what gets William kicked out of the company. You know, that's that that's where the, the big rift happens between William and Henry. And in retaliation, William kills Charlotte, Henry's daughter, that goes to possess the puppet. And then it kickstarts the events of FNAF FNAF 2 and FNAF 1 with the missing children's incident. So that's my order of events. I know it's a lot of stuff. The FNAF lore is very fucking confusing. It's very fucking complicated. But that's how I see it happen. Now, the person that we're playing as in all of the games, FNAF 1, 2, um, FNAF 3, not FNAF 4, and sister location is Michael. Because Michael is trying to understand what the fuck was William doing that eventually led to the death of all, all, all of these people. Um, his siblings and all the other kids that went missing. And now he is missing because he doesn't know necessarily that, you know, William is now inside of an animatronic and his spring trap. He doesn't necessarily have that detail, but, you know, he eventually William just disappears, right? So he's looking for William. And that's why we have a security guard that always puts himself in dangerous situations and always gets fired because of odor and all that kind of stuff. And the odor part is important because of what we're gonna watch just now. Uh, in Pizzeria Simulator, in an ending, you see something similar to the fun time animatronics. Um, uh, ending, you see something similar to the fun time animatronics. You're probably referring to Molten Freddy, maybe? I don't know. Because the thing, the thing is that all the animatronics, all the fun time animatronics, they get scooped and they form this amalgamation named uh, Ennard, right? Ennard is just the insides that are possessed of all the, anim the fun time animatronics, right? All those souls, all that kind of stuff is inside this big hive mind colony called Ennard, right? Ennard eventually kicks Baby out of the tribe because Baby is the daughter or the, the soul that possesses Baby is the daughter of the man that killed all of the other kids, right? So they don't want nothing to do with Baby. They kick her out. And that's something that we find out after the release of Sister Location. There's like a dialogue happening between uh, both of Scott Scotham's websites. If if you went to scottgames.com and you looked at the, you inspect the page and you look at the source code, you will see part of a conversation that was like, say, for example, Circus Baby. And then if you go to fnafworld.com or whatever the other um, website was, you could see the source code of that page and there was the other half of the conversation. And essentially what they were saying is that, you know, uh, they're fighting over control of the colony, essentially, and they kick baby out. And what remains is just like entered without Circus Baby that eventually goes to become Molten Freddy in Pizzeria Simulator, which is the next game. But before we get to all of that, in FNAF 1 and 2, when we do uh, the custom night and the 2020 mode and we get fired, in the pink slip, it says that we were tampering with the animatronics, right? And that we got fired by because of odor. And that's, at first, when it happened in FNAF 1, people would just think like, oh, it's just a joke. You know, it's just like a funny reason why you would, you know, fire somebody because they stink, right? But then it happened again in FNAF 2. And then you have to wonder, why did it happen again, right? So... The fact that this pizzeria, you know, these two different pizzerias fire the same person or fires the same position, the same, like a security guard because of odor, you have to think that they're the same person, right? Because the, the, the chance that you have like two different security guards in different pizzerias in different points in time, the both stink are very, <laughs> very unlikely, all right? So, who the fuck is putting themselves in a situation that they are every night being accosted and harassed by killer animatronics and still come back for a sixth night and a seventh night, right? They're putting themselves purposely on danger and also stink, right? There's only one answer, and we can see that here. So this happens after... Um, like, 
in one of the endings of Sister Location. This is Michael Lafton, you know? This is Mike, and you'll see in a second why this is Mike. Um, oh man, I remember that nostalgia. I mean, the egg baby or insanity ending. Uh, I'm not sure. I will have to play it and see exactly what you what you're referring to. The original four pairs were free in FNAF 3, but the puppet and Golden Freddy stay because of unfinished business with the other. Um, so that what we just saw that was one night, right? He's walking through the the street. Everybody's saying hi, hi. We love you, Mike. You're you're so cool. Right? Nothing, nothing bad. And apparently, Golden Freddy has two spirits instead of one, like what's initially thought. Yeah, there's two spirits instead of Golden Freddy. There's Evan, or Crying Child, whatever you want to call him. And there's Cassidy, the vengeful spirit. Those two souls are inside of Ev uh, Golden Freddy. And the reason why we know that is because of the FNAF security logbook, one of the books. We can hear a conversation going on between two spirits. Those two spirits are the Crying Child and Cassidy. They're both talking to each other from inside the suit, right? They're both possessing the same suit, which is Fredbear. And that's why, that's another reason why, like I already said, like who the fuck would put themselves in a position where they're gonna be in danger every single night and still go back to work for a sixth night and a seventh night and, you know, both have the same reason for being fired, which is odor. And in FNAF 1, right, when uh, Golden Freddy appears, which is a very rare occurrence, but when he appears, you have a text on the screen that says, it's me. That's Golden Freddy letting the security guard know, hey, it's me, right? And if we go by everything that we know so far, the only person that would go to the pizzeria and start tampering with the animatronics and try to figure out shit and are both being fired by order is Michael Afton. And the order part gets explained at the end of this video. We're, we're going to get to it. But you, we can already see that Michael Afton is already getting like greenish in the face. This is because this is happening after he got scooped, right? So he no longer has insights. Like, his internal organs got scooped. That's why he smells, because he's decomposing, he's rotting. That's why he gets fired. Now, why would um, this stinky person, which is Michael, right, the security guard, when faced with Golden Freddy, Golden Freddy would say, it's me. Is because is the crying child letting his brother know, hey, it's me. I'm inside of this. This is what's going on. Like it's me. I'm 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 the crying child. I'm Evan. I'm your brother, right? But we also know from the security logbook that inside of Golden Fredbear, there's also another spirit, which is Cassidy, and and that book is where we we get the name Cassidy. If you do the cipher, it's a, it's a whole, it, it's a complicated mess. But we know that Cassidy is also inside of that suit. So yeah, we can see that Michael is already like changing shades. He is not necessarily, you know, a, a healthy color in the face. And there's already people like starting to notice and they're looking at him. Every time this cycle repeats, there's more people staring at Michael like, what the fuck? Like, it's already obvious what's going on, what's happening. And he's getting greener and greener, right? And he goes, ah, it's so funny. Now he's like... I mean, come on. <laughs> this is nasty. Nobody's saying hi anymore. Happens again. And now he's all purple. And people are hiding away from him, right? And now he's purple, like his dad. <laughs> he's, he literally became the purple guy. <laughs> all, as I was saying last stream, the violet villain. <laughs> but that's Michael. And he's running because he has no innards. Right? He has no inners, wink, wink, no inners, no organs inside of him. A wink, inner, you get the joke, inner, inner, you get I'm winking with both my eyes at the same time, which is called blinking. So eventually this happens. Yeah. So. Here we can see. Um, the whole reason why Ennard, or the, the whole tribe of all the Funtime animatronics and all that kind of stuff, wanted to scoop Michael was so that they can use him and, you know, get out into the real world. Because if they look like you, which is what Circus Baby was saying, if we look like you, then we can get out, right? What happens when, you know, that shell, that disguise is no longer functional because it's rotting, they need to escape. And that's what, what happened, right? They, they get out of Michael's body. 
Now, at this point, you think, okay, so he got scooped. He has no internal organs, and he has no robotic parts inside of him, making him, making him being alive, making him function. So he should die, right? He, he, sh he should be dead. But then we find out that he's not actually dead. Yeah, we can hear baby saying, you won't die, you won't die, you won't die. You will not die. Yep, you won't die. Come on, do, do the thing. Oh, there he is. He's alive. So Michael Afton is still alive, even though he got scooped. And he no longer has entered inside of him. And we can see entered all the eyes here in the bottom. So that's why there's odor. That's why he gets fired. And this links back to the video that we saw previously of um, Michael saying, I should be dead, but I am not. I am going to come find you. And his voice gets all distorted because he's, he's a shell of a body. He's like, oh, I'm going to come find you. It's like all fucked up. Uh, so those are the most important things that we learn about sister location. I don't know if there's anything else that I missed. You can let me know in the chat while we're here. Uh, now, there was a comment here. A human was taken. Yeah, the original four spirits were freed in FNAF 3. I don't know that that's, tr that, that's right. I'm not sure. I know FNAF 3 burns. But the whole purpose of FNAF 3 burning was so that, you know, and, and we, we suspect that Henry was the one that burned... Fazbear Fries, the location of FNAF 3, in order to get rid of William, right? Like, Henry is trying to get rid of William, and that's why he's trying to capture him, put him in a position where, you know, he can just, like, burn the fuck out of him, which is what happened in the next game. There's two two main theories about what happens in Fazbear Fries. Either Henry burned Fazbear Fries in order to keep William there and kill him, or it was Michael that burned Fazbear Frights after he realized that, you know, his father was there, you know, because he went to the pizzeria and found Springtrap, right? And he's like, oh, hell no. And he decided to burn the pizzeria down. But I think it's more, I, I like more the, the, the inference that it's Henry that burned down Fazbear Frights. And when that didn't work, he designed his own pizzeria in order to trap all of the souls. I don't think... Because the thing is, in, in FNAF 3, in Firespit Fries, there are no other souls. There are no other animatronics. The phantom animatronics in FNAF 3, those are all hallucinations. And that's what I was saying in, in the previous stream on Monday, is that I hate that in FNAF 3 you get to see uh, Phantom Chica and Phantom Foxy, Phantom Freddy and Balloon Boy and all that kind of stuff, because those are not real. They, they are not the spirits of the kids. Like, uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> The, the main animatronics, they got disassembled and they got repurposed into the Funtime animatronics. That's what we see in the cutscenes in FNAF 2 before William gets... Um, uh, he gets inside the Spring Bunny suit and gets the Spring Lock failure and becomes Springtrap. He is repurposing the parts of the animatronics. And that's why there's a promotional image of all the parts of the animatronics that say, like, what can we use? It's because he disassembled all of those animatronics and in doing so... The souls of the of the kids that are attached to those animatronics like started chasing him, and he thought that he could hide inside of the spring bunny suit, which got him killed, and eventually he turned into spring trap. But those parts they got repurposed into the fun time animatronics. So those souls of the kids are still in the fun time animatronic. That's why um by the time they become Molten Freddy in the next game, which we're gonna see in future streams, um, Henry tries to lure all of the animatronics into the building so that he, he can cleanse all of them. So, and that's why he gives, at the end, he gives the speech that he gives, where, where it's like, you know, all you restless souls, you can, you know, leave now, and, you know, I'm sure the gates of heaven will be open for you and all that kind of stuff. Like, those souls don't, be, don't belong to you, so let them go, blah, blah, blah. And he says to William, what well, he says to William, which I'm not going to say here. We're going to wait until we get there in FNAF 6. We're going to wait until we see that. Because it's the best fucking speech ever when Henry addresses William directly. I love that. It gives me chills. It's amazing. But that's when all those souls get freed, right? I don't think they were freed in FNAF 3. The only person that was in FNAF 3, the only functioning like animatronic and you know villain, is William. It's Springtrap. That's the only one that you face. All the other phantom animatronics, they're just hallucinations. Which makes no fucking sense. But 90% of this 
franchise makes no fucking sense, to be honest. Um, okay. Uh, 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 apparently, Golden Freddy has two spirits. Yeah, we talked about that. Evan and Cassidy. I assume Evan is the one that got freed in three. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, because like one of the eyes shuts down. Yeah, that, that, that could be. Yeah. I assume uh, uh, but Cassidy stayed, like I said earlier. Yeah, Cassidy is the vengeful spirit. He doesn't want to let go. Um, yeah, the it's me it makes a lot of sense now, to be honest, because it's Michael's brother telling him he's there. Yes, exactly. That's why when Golden Freddy appears, he recognizes Michael and um, tells him it's me. And that's why all the other animatronics are always chasing after Michael, because I know it's like a kind of like a shoehorn, but... Um, Oh shit, what happened? Um, the reason why the animatronics are always going after the security guard is because they got killed. All those kids got killed by the security guard, right? And now there comes this other man, right? That is very similar to William Afton because, of course, they're related. And they're also a security guard. So that's why they're always attacking the security guard in FNAF 1, FNAF 2. You know, it's because... They see the new security guard and it's like, hmm, he looks very similar to the guy that killed me. And he's also wearing a security uniform. I'm going to kill him. And in FNAF 2, the new, like the toy animatronics that have like this criminal database and all that kind of stuff in order to stop, you know, predators and all that kind of shit. They look at Michael and they're like, hmm, you match with the descriptions of the killer of the five children. Hmm, we're going to fuck you over. Those, the two animatronics are not possessed. The Wither animatronics in FNAF 2, they are possessed. They are the original animatronics uh, from, you know, from the, the missing children's incident. Um, but that's the reason why I believe that Michael is the one going through every single location trying to find William, right? Michael is, uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, TV's lush. <laughs> I, I, it, it took me a little, a little bit to react. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. But yeah, like, as I was saying, like, the reason why Michael is always getting attacked and he's always coming back to the pizzerias is because they see him and he looks like his father, William, right? And he's also wearing the security outfit and it's like, oh, we're going to kill him. Uh, and that's why when we get faced with Golden Freddy, there's the communication of it's me. It's Evan trying to communicate to Michael, hey, I'm in here. Uh, 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 in the Insanity ending, the blueprints of the Egg Bay reveal that it has a scupper in it and has the blueprint. Has oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, that that that's referring to the designs of the um, of the fun time animatronics that have a cavity in them. They can coop the, the children and keep them inside of them for further use, I guess. <laughs> uh, he's literally a purple guy now. I remember when people thought the pink guy and purple guy's price if I have to. Uh, yeah, it's. I remember when people were hyper analyzing the different shades of yellow in a text. Or the different shapes of pur purple and pink to see if it was the purple guy or pink guy. I remember when people were like counting at the at the toes of the animatronics. So it has two toes. So it has three toes. It, it, it was it was it was a mess. Uh, in the end, insanity ending, picture similar the blueprints. Oh, we already saw that. Uh, hey, hi, hi, welcome. For some reason, though, I thought the toys were possessed. I guess it's a remnant and or agony thing. Yes, lol. No, the the toys. You, you mean the toy animatronics? The toy animatronics are not possessed. The toy animatronics are... They they can free roam the pizzeria and they have this criminal database that they can access to, you know, keep predators away, keep dangerous people away. Um, now, there's two theories as to how this works. One of them is that the toy animatronics see Michael Afton and he is very similar to another security guard named William Afton that is already under, you know, surveillance and investigation for the missing children's incident. And that's why they attack him, right? That's one theory. The other theory is, and I like this theory a little better, but it's a little bit more complex. So the puppet in FNAF 2, we know that the puppet is a central figure in this entire thing. The puppet was a security robot created by Henry Emily, the the co-founder of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria and all that kind of stuff, Fazbear Entertainment, whatever. Uh, Henry co-founded this whole thing with William, right? And he had a daughter, Charlie, or Charlotte, right? 
Charlie gets killed by William outside one of the pizzerias. And the, the, the whole reason why the puppet exists is because Henry created the puppet in order to um, keep Charlotte safe. Because at this point in time, when the puppet gets created, before the events of FNAF 1 and all that kind of stuff, Henry already lost one of his kids in 1983. Evan, the crying child, dies. Then after that, he creates the Funtime animatronics. Elizabeth dies. And everything comes to the light that he's trying to kidnap children and kill them. And, you know, five children go missing, all the kind of, this kind of situation. Um, well, the, the five children is that happen afterwards, but two of William's kids die at the hands of William, and they discover that he's creating all these animatronics, and that's why they question him, Mr. Afton, like, why do you send the animatronics this way? Blah, 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 blah. Henry, fearing for retaliation from William after kicking him, kicking him out of the company, he creates the puppet that is designed specifically to protect Charlie. But then the puppet at one point is not able to get to her, and William gets to Charlie first outside the pizzeria, kills her, and then her soul goes to inhabit the puppet, right? So the puppet has the soul of Henry's daughter in him, Charlie. Now, going back to FNAF 2 and the toys and animatronics, that's when we first see the puppet. And one of the theories is, because the puppet is the one responsible for giving gifts, giving life, is one of the um, uh, mini games that we see in FNAF 2, and we see the puppet guiding the souls of the missing children into the animatronics, and that's how they get possessed. People are also theorizing that the puppet influences the toy animatronics and their criminal database in order to attack Michael Afton. Now, that's a little bit, you know, there, there's a lot of, like, uh, conjectures going on around there. Like, well, you have to assume that the puppet is manipulating the toy animatronics in, in some capacity, right? Or you can just go by the fact that, okay, William and Michael are related, they look alike, and they're both security officers, therefore the toy animatronics get confused and they attack uh, Michael because they think that he's a predator. Um, we don't know which one is true. The fact of the matter is that the toy animatronics are not necessarily possessed. By the point of um, FNAF 2, the Wither animatronics are still the ones being possessed. Wither Bonnie, Wither Chica, Wither Foxy, Wither Freddy. Those are the ones that are possessed. And Golden Fredbear, which we don't see in the game, but those are the ones that are being possessed. The toy animatronics are just free roaming and attacking Michael for whatever reason. Either because they confuse him or because the puppet told him, hey, go attack this guy. Right? Um, mm -mm. Oh, I forgot about that. My bad. What about Candy Cat Death Stories? We haven't heard Candy Cat Death Stories, though. Uh, Candy Cat Death Stories, that, that's a whole, that, that, that's very confusing. Like, there's a lot to analyze there because there's a lot of metaphors, but I don't know them by heart. I don't know Candy Cat Death Stories by heart. I remember the, the whole thing about, like, multiple keys becoming one key and multiple, like, dead people becoming one big thing. Like, there, there was a lot of, like, multiple things becoming one thing. And I usually, like, relate that to either the Funtime animatronics becoming... Uh, like Enter and then becoming Molten Freddy or I don't know it, it could be a numerous things but I don't know the stories by heart so I couldn't comment on them until we see them when we play Pizzeria Simulator uh, yeah she was William's first victim yes yes Charlie was the first um, so there's only eight dead children in FNAF <laughs> and that's funny to say like it's a fucked up sentence to say oh there's only eight, eight children dead <laughs> it's like but here are the the, the deaths right first it was evan crying child right which is william's uh youngest son he dies in 1983 then is elizabeth killed by circus baby then in retaliation for uh henry kicking william out of the the company he kills charlie and that is william's first kill he hadn't killed purposefully. He had not killed anybody thus far because Evan and Elizabeth were accidental deaths. They were not supposed to happen. You can still like argue that, well, you created the animatronics and the animatronics were dangerous. Therefore, you're still guilty for their deaths. But William didn't actively try to kill Evan or Elizabeth, right? So Evan and Elizabeth were the first. Those were accidental deaths. Then was Charlie. That was first. Um, that was uh, William's first kill in retaliation against Henry, right? And then from there, he killed the 
the five kids that went to possess the five uh, main animatronics that we know from the franchise, right? So first it was Susie that goes to possess Chica. And then in no particular order, uh, Gabriel that possesses, I think, is Foxy. Jeremy that possesses, I think, is Bunny. Uh, Fritz that I think possesses Freddy. And Cassidy that also possesses Fredbear, where Evan is now. So you have... Evan possessing Fredbear and Cassidy possessing Fredbear uh, or Golden Freddy, whatever you want to call him. Elizabeth possessing Circus Baby and then Fritz, Gabriel, and Susie and Jeremy possessing Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy. Those are the dead children of FNAF. Now, they get moved around a lot because, you know, like I said, those animatronic pieces get repurposed into the Funtime animatronics and then Ennard and then Molten Freddy and blah, 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 blah. Oh, and there's uh, Charlie possesses the puppet. I forgot to mention that. Um, and those are all the, 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 you know, animatronics that are being possessed. Now, there's one thing that always broke my head and I hate it <laughs> is fucking Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy makes no fucking sense to me. <laughs> Balloon Boy fits nowhere <laughs> in any theory. By all accounts, any everything that we know, Balloon Boy fits nowhere. There's no explanation for why Balloon Boy exists, and that's why I hate him the most out of all of the uh, freaking animatronics. That's why I hate him the most. Um, uh, uh, okay. Um, it really is tough, Lamal. I know the key story. Yeah, so essentially the story of FNAF is the story of, of the Afton family, right? Um... And the feud between William Afton and Henry Emily and, you know, the deeds of William killing all, all these people, all these kids using the robots that eventually get possessed, blah, blah, blah. The story up until that point is fairly, you know, I want to say with the benefit of hindsight is very cut and dry. We know what happens, right? The way we got there was very convoluted, very fucking convoluted because you have to play the games. The games are not in order. They reveal stuff in different orders, in different endings, and sometimes they give you like a fake ending and a good ending and a bad ending, so there's a lot of pieces that are moving all the time. Aside from the games, then you have books, but books are a different universe, but they also inform the main universe of the games. You have websites that you have to go into the code of the website to find a secret conversation between different characters. You have promotional images that you have to brighten and you have to change the contrast and all this stuff, so to see like different clues and hint, hint in the background. You have Additional like source materials like the the security logbook and the ultimate guide that also give hints as to what like there's a bunch of different shit that eventually got us to this point where we sort of kind of understand the main um, story that's being told here. It's just that there's a there's a few details that people disagree with like who was the first or who was the killer or if it's William or if it's Michael or if it's like there's a few like details that people don't really like. Uh, you know, you, you have to choose a team, you, whether you believe this one thing or you believe this other thing. But the, the main story in general is the same all the time. Now, that all gets thrown away by the point FNAF VR happens, Help Wanted, and Security Breach. Like, those games make no fucking sense because they try to, like, the story ended. The story of William ended in uh, Pizzeria Simulator and Ultimate Custom Night. Like, that's where the, the story ended and was supposed to end there. But then, of course, because FNAF is a cash cow, they wanted to, like, resurrect the, the franchise and they made Help Wanted and Security Breach and they tried to recon everything and resurrect William Afton as Glitch Trap and nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> Absolutely nothing makes sense. That's why I hate, like, I don't have an issue with um, Help Wanted as much because I think Help Wanted does sort of a cool thing but security breach. Oh, I hate security breach. Um, uh, 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 what about balloon world and security breach? Yeah, I don't want to talk about security breach. Security breach like makes me violent. <laughs> it makes me angry. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just watched some FNAF tapes while I was gone, and my soul met the Queen of England. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, but he always comes back. He always comes back. I know. But the thing, here's the thing. Okay, so let, let's say, like, we can, we want to go with the whole glitch trap meta, right? Okay, so somehow William managed to get his soul 
into a computer chip or a computer hard drive or something that gets used to develop this game and this then these indie developers get possessed by glitch trap whatever like william goes from you know being a normal guy to being a killer to being spring trap to being freed from being spring trap and now to be a computer virus named glitch trap all right he went through a whole fucking journey fine I can buy glitch trap. That's why I don't have an issue with help wanted as much as I have an issue with security breach, right? Help wanted with the whole glitch trap situation. I mean, I think it's interesting. I think it's fun. Good. But then security breach comes along and you don't fight against glitch trap. You fight against spring trap again after he was burned to death, which I mean, in this franchise, nobody stays dead. Like, I have to make peace with that. Like, nobody stays dead in fucking Five Nights at Freddy. Everybody always returns. But, like, they made, they made in the in the reboot of FNAF, in Help Wanted, they made a point in the course of Dreadbear DLC to let you know that the new bad guy is going to be Glitchtrap and Vanny, which is Vanessa being possessed by Glitchtrap, right? And then Security Breach rolls along. You don't like Vanny is barely even in the game. She just like strolls around and is uh, like an, an annoyance, but Vanny is not the main bad guy of Security Breach. And Glitch Trap is not the main bad guy of Security Breach. It's Spring Trap again. So what was what was the point of showing me Glitch Trap and showing me Vanny if you're going to reuse Spring Trap? Like that to me makes no sense. That's why Security Breach makes me so fucking angry. It's because you had a good thing going. And you wanted to reboot it, and you still have something interesting going, but you didn't go with any of that. And you decided some, you, you decided to, you know, make shit up as, as you went along. Like to me, I don't know. Maybe things get a little bit more clear in the new DLC that's coming for Security Breach in uh, a Ruin or something like that. That is called, I think, or Run. I don't know. Maybe some things get clear up there. I don't know. But as it stands, Security Breach has its own game. I hate what it does with the lore because it's like, okay, I'm I'm on the boat with Glitch Trap and Vanny and then you don't use any of that and you go back to Spring Trap, which is supposed to be dead in purgatory, being tormented by Cassidy. And that's what Ultimate Custom Night is. It's just William Afton's personal hell. He's in hell. So why the fuck are we fighting him in again at Spring Trap? I don't know. It, it makes no sense to me. Um... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> Facts. Security Breach is the biggest flop of FNAF era. I agree. What is Glitch Trap? Yeah, Glitch Trap is kind of its own thing, to be honest. Help Wanted is cool. Isn't Glitch Trap a part of Remnant Fuse with a hard drive? Yes. Help Wanted is like a little recap of everything that was before with a little twist. Ah, fuck. It's 2am already. It's lore is, <laughs> the lore is not existing in, in Security Breach. Yeah. So, to explain Glitch Trap, in uh, Fire and Esther Freddy's Help Wanted, they decided to like, sort of like retcon the original FNAF series, like everything that happened between FNAF 1 and Ultimate Custom Night, they wanted to like retcon all of that to reboot the series and say that everything that we play so far, everything that we know about FNAF, it was just games made by a rogue indie developer that wanted to best merge the name of Fastbear Entertainment, right? And then you get hired as a um, game developer to develop a new game that will, you know, like um shine line on the true of on the truth of what Fastbear Entertainment is, right? Like like make a puff piece, essentially make a puff video game for uh, Fastbear Entertainment as a company, right? And so in this group of developers that are developing this game for Fastbear Entertainment, as they're going through like the wreckages of like the the old pizzerias and all that kind of stuff, because in this universe, even though they recon everything, Fast Brain Entertainment is still a thing and the restaurants are still a thing. They're just denying that there was ever like children that went missing and that there was a crazy murderer and all that kind of stuff. Like they they're trying to like cover all that up. But those things are still like they still exist in the world of help wanted, right? So they're digging through the, you know, like old pizzerias and all that kind of stuff, and they find a hard drive and when they try to get the files out of the hard drive to like see what the fuck that is and how they can implement it in the games and all that kind of stuff they discover they discover a, a computer virus right and turns out eventually like we find out that the computer virus is actually a fragment of william afton's soul that was infused into the virus or into the um, the hard drive and is now 
um, behaving as a virus in the game that they're trying to develop. And we find all of this out because of some uh, cassette tapes that one of the developers is leaving for us. And once you get all the tapes in order and you like listen to all the tapes, then you get like a big, bigger story about like how when you try to deal with this virus, you eventually get possessed by the virus, right? And so one of these uh, people, like the people that were playing us, is a developer called Vanessa, right? And Vanessa finds all the tapes. She learns all about the whole um, virus situation, and and like they, she tries to like get rid of the virus, and in doing so, she gets possessed by the virus, which we know now is a fragment that got attached, a fragment of William Afton's soul that got attached to the hard drive. Because in this universe, there's a thing called agony. When there's a lot of agony, such as you being tortured or in pain or killed, um, that agony can attach your soul and your pain and all that suffering can be attached to a physical thing like the animatronics, right? So in William's agony, his soul gets a part of his soul gets attached to uh, the the hard drive. Then he becomes like essentially a computer virus, and that's where Glitchtrap is born. And Glitchtrap has the capability of possessing people that are trying to get rid of him. And that's what happens to Vanessa. That eventually gets uh, essentially like recruited to follow in William's step because William is supposed to be dead. He's not supposed to be alive anymore. It's just a piece of his soul that's still alive and is inside now of Vanessa, a.k.a. Vanny, a.k.a. the new villain of FNAF. But then in Security Breach, they don't use Vanny at all. Like, she's just like a random NPC that's running around the world and she doesn't really do anything. And when you get to the final boss of the game, it turns out it's Springtrap. Even though he's supposed to be dead already and that's the whole reason by which Vanny should exist, right? That's why it makes me angry. But that's what Glitchtrap is supposed to be. Um, uh, 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 wait, is Glitch Up the Glitchy Bunny from Help Wanted? Yes, there is in, uni in universe FNAF games. Yes, it, it makes no sense. Again, uh, yeah, when you think you finally understand the lore, <laughs> then comes Scott and tells you, get <laughs> fucked and says, nah, I wasn't like that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, 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 they were primarily made to cover up all the accusations or whatever, if I recall correctly. Yeah, you're right. Wait, uh, if Glitchtrap is remnant fused with the hard drive, then how does Springtrap still have his old body? Exactly! I mean, shouldn't he have a new body because of the whole burning thing? Also, how does he come back if he if the only remnant of his soul is trapped in hard drive? Yeah, that, 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 exactly. Those are everybody's questions. That's why Security Breach and Help Wanted make people so fucking angry. So, the only way... If you ignore Security Breach, right, and you only focus on what is told to you in Help Wanted, right, the only way that William can come back, because he always comes back, that's his, like his slogan, I always come back, right, is through the use of Vanny. William no longer has a body. William's body got burned in the pizzeria in FNAF 6. He's gone. But like a horcrux in Harry Potter, there's a piece of his soul that still remained. By sheer fucking luck, there's a still piece of his soul that remains, like Voldemort, inside of a hard drive. And that piece of his soul eventually finds its way to Vanny, or Vanessa. The only way that Springtrap, or William's legacy, can go on is through Vanessa. because, And that's why she crafts, and, and I can pull it up over here, um, she crafts her own suit. I don't know why, why I type Vanessa. But after the events of... After the events of Help Wanted, the DLC Curse of Dreadbear, we see Vanessa already has a mask made for her. Right? We already see the mask. And she eventually gets her suit because this is how the legacy of William Afton lives on. is through her. But then that shit doesn't happen in FNAF Security Breach. Instead, Vanny is just like a nothing character. And like she does nothing in the game. And eventually you fight William Afton as Springtrap again, even though he's not supposed to be there. Fuck me, I guess. You know, that's why I don't like Security Breach. Uh, me either. Ah, uh, for an art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyhow, um, I think that's going to do it for this one. On Monday, 
5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to come back and we're going to go through um, Sister Location again. We're going to try to get through like the the other endings. Um, and we, maybe we can like after we go through um, security, um, security, <laughs> after we go through Sister Location, we can finish the video where we, um, we were reviewing two of uh, John FNAF. Uh, about the history of Financial Freddy's. That is very cool. It's a very interesting video. And it also shines a lot of light on how we got to the story that we have right now. We're going to do that on next stream, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But for now, thanks everybody. Oh, thanks everybody that showed up for the stream. I really appreciate all of you that stuck out and especially all the people that watched me suffer with the fucking mini arenas. Like, you're the real OGs. You're like, like I said, this might be the stream where I reach affiliate. All of you here in this chat, all the people that follow, all the people that commented in chat, all of you, you're making history <laughs> because this might be the day that I reach affiliate. And, you know, I know it's not like a huge deal, but to me it is because I do this because I love it. It's, it's a passion of mine. It's something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy creating content. I enjoy, you know, entertaining people and talking about interesting subjects like this. Like I do this in my free time because I really love it. And to have people watch and to have people support me and to have people like push me to these new levels of like now becoming a Twitch affiliate and eventually hopefully a Twitch partner and who knows what else comes next. Um, like it really means the world to me and I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy it. I, I really hope you enjoy watching. If you do and you know, if you haven't followed, you can click the follow. You'll be contributing to this bar over here. Your name will appear here. Anything that you type in chat will also be down there. And if you are rather watch this after the fact on YouTube or catch up with everything else that we've um, done with FNAF and with other games, you can head on over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com uh, YouTube Um I can leave it here in chat and also leave my socials. You know, you can watch a lot of other stuff that I've done over there. Uh, you know, if you like it, you can subscribe, like, you know, show me support, do all the good YouTube things. And if you follow me on my social media, you can be up to date on when I'm going to be live streaming. Like I said, Mondays and Thursdays, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I also do like funny highlights and clips and, you know, like I, I edit the, the streams into like by size, like one minute video that are edited in a funny haha -ha way. So you can enjoy those there in my Instagram, in my TikTok, in my Twitter. They're all over there. So you can also follow me on my social media. But that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me through all this nonsense. <laughs> that is FNAF. Um, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. So thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. The non -zombie apocalypse.